Right, we're gonna we're gonna try this again. A famous explorer once said. Still maybe a little bit quiet. I'll try and turn up on the extraordinary is in what we do. Not who we are. I Kay. finally set out to make my mark. To find adventure. Ooh! But what a babe. Adventure found me. The thug life. Lana didn't choose the thug life. The thug life chose her. Alright. Any of you guys played this before? In our darkest moments. When life flashes before us. We find something. We find League of Legends. Something that keeps us going. Definitely not League of Legends. Something that pushes us. Jump! Okay, there's no way you're not surrendering your entire corpse on the edge of that ship when you jump on it. There's no way. Focus on our eyes, chat. Focus on our eyes. Design the audio for TVs or something. It's so bad. Hello, Whipper Trooper. just knocking you out with a right hook. Just a jab to the fucking forehead. Uh oh. Kinky underground tomb of death. This game was very fantastic when it came out. Uh, the graphics were all <laughs> graphics were state of the art. They also did a lot of new stuff with the hair physics, which unfortunately for you guys, I have to set to normal mode. We are running this game at reduced graphic quality just so that the FPS stays stable. But this game can look very good on a very high end PC. All right, I think we have to swing left and right, do we? We're just gonna smack Lara's Run! noggin directly off of this thing. Oh, okay. Got to get down. I'll adjust all the stuff in a minute, guys. Oh god, don't hit it, don't hit it. Okay. Here we go. I think we're going sideways. This, this is gonna hurt. Yeah, no, this is gonna fuck you up. This reboot in, in the series, Lana doesn't have like her classic twin pistols and like big boobs. She gets she gets wrecked in this game, guys. I'm gonna feel that tomorrow. Uh, need to pull out. Oh, oh, that's sore. It's alright, Lana, you're doing really well. Let's go. Let's go. You're doing really well. Okay, we're gonna crawl out of here and vomit all the way. Right, I think I can. Oh, God. No, no. Oh, no. Dude, is that my dad? 
What is this place? Oh. What happened to you? I think he got tied up from the ceiling. Unfortunately, you got put in a bag and hung upside down for some obscure reason, but... Oh, wait. Dodge. Yeah, can I take this? Hell yeah, dude. New gear acquired. Let's go. So this game... Although this game is um, ultimately a platformer, there is RPG elements to it where you actually get to upgrade your weapons. Kind of like in Resident Evil 4, but not quite as... There's no sexy merchant who appears out of nowhere and asks you what you're buying all the time. But you can upgrade at campfires and you'll see that as the game goes on. It's really good. You start off very basic and then by the end of the game you got a lot of gear. It's good. Alright. If you guys like playing games like Drake Uncharted or, or Uncharted, things like that, this is uh, going to be a good one for you. I don't know if there's things we can collect here. Yeah, we want to burn these. So I think that's a totem, right? Oh no, that's, that's our escape point, okay. I'm kind of concerned that that explosive... How is that for you guys, guys? Is that audio like super loud for you? Or... It looks super loud on my screen. I think we made it. This is where the game's gonna be absurdly quiet. If we keep turning down the volume slider because of dialogue and sound effects are together. We have subtitles at least. There we go. Got through the tutorial. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> After a fashion. Alright, nice. There's a lot of cinematic quick time moments in the game. Um, a lot of the game has little explorative, explorative areas, which is kind of nice. And you'll be able to interact with stuff in the environment uh, as you go. We don't have any equipment right now. We have none of our tools. Uh, and I won't spoil what the tools are, because we're going to get them as we play through. But, yeah. You'll see in due course. Would recommend, guys, this game is always super cheap on Steam, and I know some of the opening moments, especially because I'm piloting Lara like an idiot and dying in the, the, the volumes, a, a bit of a problem just now. But this game is fantastic, it's really good. And uh, you should definitely check it out if you get the chance. I actually played this game on PC okay. before, and that's why I'm playing it on now. Maybe a controller would have been better, but I think for the aiming and shooting, my mouse is going to be a little bit better. Here we go. I don't know if I actually have to... Oh no. I don't know if Lara actually has to be controlled here. I'm moving her forward. I don't know if I have to balance her left and right. Okay. Later on we're going to have a UI as well for how many arrows we have, how many bullets. And I'll move my webcam to not be in front of that when it appears, but for the time being. And I'll probably move my donation alerts and stuff as well. You see my little, my my own stream overlay down the bottom? I'll probably adjust that when we need to, but for the time being, we don't have any of that going on. Alright, here we go. We've got some, some platforming. Jump! Uh, E to grab. So it's F to interact, but E to grab. That's why uh, that's why I fucked this up the last time. Because I knew E was interactable with some stuff, but it looks like if there's like melee action, I think F is actually your melee button, which is probably why, you know, when I kept getting crushed by the boulder, um, I think because I keep I kept pushing E instead of melee, because there was like a, a human interactive interaction. All right. Hmm. Uh, this se the first one seems like a, uh, like a g the first one also always seems to go on sale, and I got the second and the third one for free. That's probably why Jesse, honestly, that the first game, maybe the first game went on sale a lot because there was a two and three follow up, maybe to try and encourage people to get started with the series. They put the first game on sale, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I got this game on 
sale on Steam for a very cheap price. And I used to be able to run it on my old laptop as well, which was like a plus. I always like this one more than I like 2 and 3, but 2 and 3 does have some nice additions to it as well that this game didn't have, because obviously they're developing upon the engine and stuff. But I like this one. Sam! They must have come this way. Look at little Lara. How can you not love her, dude? Sam? Roth? I feel like Lara gets extremely me? moody in the other games as well. In this game, Lara is brand new. She's very, very young, obviously. I don't know what age she's supposed to be here, like 18 or something. Obviously, in Rise of the Tomb Raider, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, whichever order they come in. I'm pretty sure it's Rise of the Tomb Raider is the second. Oh, I just died. Oh, no, I'm, I'm alive. I think. In the, uh, in the second, particularly the third one, which I think is Shadow. Let's just get this right now, actually. I'm going to quickly Google it. Um, oh no, I don't want to unpin. Let me just find out. Um, Shadow of the Tomb Raider release. So it came out in 2018, and then right, I, Shadow Rise of the Tomb Raider release. Okay, so yeah, Rise was second and Shadow was third, that makes sense. Shadow of the Tomb Raider, I think, is the moment where... They try and build up the story that in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Lara goes from being an innocent young girl to, like, being evil. If you guys want to play through these games in order, I'm not going to spoil everything that happens, but it seems a bit jarring. Uh, in, in the last one, the third one, I always felt like Lara was very angry all the time. And she goes through a lot throughout the series, so it's understandable that she's pissy at times. But there's, there's good characters in it that she kind of treats like shit sometimes. And sometimes her emotions felt a bit off. I really didn't enjoy the third one, but it's still a good game and a pretty decent platformer for the most part. I think we're getting into one of our little exploration areas because you see that thing there, that little wind chime? That's a collectible that we can shoot uh, when we have some sort of projectile. I don't know if I can get to that just now though. I'm gonna have to deal with that later. I don't have anything to throw or shoot, but we should get something soon. Weirdly enough, I played these three games on three different platforms. This one that I'm playing right now on PC with you guys, I played on PC, obviously. Is anyone listening? The second Is one I played one? on Xbox One, and then the third one I actually played on PS4. She's freezing! Oh, there's a nice camera shot of our boobs. Thanks for that, Square Enix. Very shaky cam, by the way. My hands are not on the mouse right now. I'm not controlling this, but because Lara's shivering, I think, because she's chittering, the camera's like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, no, don't fuck it up. Lara, don't fuck it. Quick, quick, quick. Okay. I think we're all right. Squaresoft Golden GRPG Era, hello. That is a fantastic name, welcome. How's it going, friend? You've got a great name. This game does, as, as you're saying, Squaresoft, this game does feel like a, a movie at times, which is nice. It's got a, a, a full-on cinematic kind of feel to it. They obviously made a movie, a Tomb Raider movie, with um, Alicia Vikander a few years ago. I think they're making a second one if they haven't already. And I think it was like extremely based off of this movie. world famous archaeologist Lara Croft in her native habitat. She's on the hunt for the lost kingdom. It's so quiet. Home to the fabulous Himiko, mythical sun queen, and ancestor yours truly. Sam, this is serious. Oh, sweetie, I know. I'm just trying to lighten the mood here. Everyone's so on edge. What are you so worried about? I'm close to something. I'm sure of it. I just don't know if the others will listen. Or even if they should. Lara, 
You know this stuff better than anyone. Seriously, I'm not just saying this to make you feel better. I trust you, Roth trusts you, you got this. Now let's take a break, okay? <laughs> okay, okay. And Sam, thanks. She's not always this serious, you know? Lara doesn't have a hair out of place. How does her hair sit so perfectly? How can you suggest I'm not serious about this expedition? Lara, it's not just Sam's family funding us. I put my savings on the line, too. You've all got some kind of stake in this. The funding won't last forever, Whitman. That's precisely why we should push east, not west. No one believes Yamata... No one believes Yamata is that far east. Hey, Stoned Bird, what's up? don't support it. Well, whoever wrote those books never found Yamatai. I've talked to Roth about this. There's no point in following in other people's footsteps, Dr. Whitman. I refuse to bet my reputation on your hunch. I'm the lead archaeologist here. And when were you last in the field with a TV crew behind you? Got 30 years of course the old angry chef is Scottish. East Asian history, so why don't you just stick to boats, Mr. Grimm? Ship, Dr. Whitman. It's a ship. It's a ship. <laughs> it's a ship, Governor. The east will take us directly <laughs> into the Dragon's Triangle. That's where we need to go. Lara, my little bird. I'm sorry it's so quiet, guys. There's nothing I can do about this. Bad storms, more like, makes the Bermuda Triangle look like Disney World. Sign me up. The stories about Queen Himiko say she could summon storms. Myths are usually based on some version of the truth. What if Yamatai was somewhere in the triangle itself? Well, look, this is the satellite imagery from inside the Dragon's Triangle. That doesn't look good. If it's wet, I can sail on it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the is right. We don't have the funds to fish about. It's now or never. Lara's offering fresh ideas and a plan. I'm the captain here. It's my decision. We're going into the Dragon's Triangle. Oh, what could go wrong? Okay. Alright. I wish they made Indiana Jones into this game, says Squaresoft. Or the first two Mummy movies with Brendan Fraser. Hey, nice. Both good see. references, Squaresoft. Yeah, I think... Uh, got to find something to eat. If it makes you feel any better, I believe that Indiana Jones is being... There's a Indiana games, an Indiana Jones game in development now by. Oh, there, there's a little deer. There's an Indiana Jones game in development now by Bethesda, apparently, and I don't oh, think it's a meme. God. We need Wait. to get the bow. I can use that bow. The first Angelina Jolie movie was okay. Second one wasn't a fan of. Yeah, I remember the first Angelina Jolie Tomb Raider movie when it first came out. I had that movie on VHS, believe it or not. Here we go. Got some arrows for ourselves. Let's see if we can climb up to the bone arrow. Very warm today, says so Stone Bird. Hey, nice stunt. Do you like the heat stone or nah? We're gonna walk across and then we're gonna jump over. I can do this. Unrelated comment, but Final Fantasy X is 20 years old today. Hell yeah, dude. Tw 20th year anniversary for Final Fantasy X, no way. That's crazy. Thank you. Makeshift bow. Let's see if this thing still works. All right. Just remember Roth's training. You so, the best form and technique in the world. The game is extremely sensitive. All of the sliders in this game seem very bizarre. I, I tweaked this yesterday when I was setting the game up for myself. But the sensitivity of some of these things is... It feels really crazy. I'm just going to turn some of these things down a little bit. He's focused. Women versus the wild. We so need to collect hungry. stuff for, from the deer. To find something to eat. I think these things here as well is something we need to shoot. Okay, there's a good start. Ghost Hunter. Alright. Let's see here. That's just how we got the bow. Is there anything else in this area? These are these are like the little areas you can kind of free roam and explore inside the game, guys. And there's like a ton of stuff hidden about that you can look for. It's kind of cool. There's a bunch of arrows over there. Okay. So I need to actually hunt the deer. There's a deer down here in the clearing, I think.
G Bobu, what's up dude? J Bob, thank you so much. Welcome back for the 26 months, man. Hey. How's it going, man? I'm just gonna quickly nip back up here. There was one of those hanging things. I'm gonna see if I can go back here to the campfire and see if I can shoot it. If it's in the area. I wonder if I can actually get it from here. If I go back. We should be able to get one of these things. Now, XP in this game is not so so big of a deal, but if you want, you can come back and find, you know, little things run about the area. It's going to give us some extra XP and perks, I guess, later. As someone who lives in England, says Stone Bird, I'm not that used to 30 degree heat. Yeah, the last couple of days, uh, Bird has been really warm. I would imagine further the further south you are, the hotter it's going to get. And uh, the last couple of days, it's been really, really toasty, yeah. I quite enjoy it until it- Oh, okay, the gifted sub's coming through, let's go. I filled out my entire screen. <laughs> Look at those long ass names. <laughs> I've got Whooper Trooper, Ai Gijin, gifting a sub over to Squares of Gold in GRPG era. You guys are fucking legends, Squares. It's lovely to see you in my chat. I hope you're doing well tonight. Whatever you are, you've got a fantastic name. We're big fans of Square Enix here in the Wolfpack. Played a bunch of different games over the years. Just so happens now that we're playing uh, Tomb Raider tonight. But Gajin, thank you for the gifted sub. And Squares, welcome to the uh, to the, the stream. Welcome. Back when I first played the first Kingdom Hearts, I never expected that game to get so many new entries. Oh yeah. Indeed, that's a long winding path. The Kingdom Hearts franchise. Yeah, we're uh, very aware of that. Looks like this is just a... Oh, not a dead end. More to be found. Oh, howdy. J-Bob, thank you so much, man, for the love... Is there anything I can shoot from here, or is it just probably just for the arrows? Oh no, it looks like there's treasure here. Hmm. Some kind of container. Who left these behind? Your mom. So as we play, we should get treasure maps later on, which will allow us to come back and explore these areas. And I'm a bit of a freak when it comes to collecting these daft things in, in these kind of video games. I very, uh, I very meticulously go through and pick up a bunch of random shit. Um, often when it's not necessary, so forgive me in advance. If it's getting too bored, boring and stale, guys, I will try and move on. But I do like having a look around for some of the stuff. Kajin, thank you for the gifted. J-Bob, welcome back. And shout-outs to Dumpster half an hour ago as well. So many subs today, guys. Much love. You guys are the best. Hmm. Okay, so these, I think... Later on in the game, we will be able to do something with this. But for the time being, I don't know if... I don't remember if I can activate this just now. You can normally shoot to these. Zoom with Z. Oh, okay. And zoom in. Oh, there's the deer. Hold still, buddy. Rip. I think if you don't hit this in the head, I think... Oh, I think the arrow's down. <gasps> it's so sensitive, dude. The, the mouse is so sensitive. I need to tweak that again. It seems really... I mean, as you, the longer you hold your breath, the longer you hold your breath in the game, the uh, the more wild the arrow becomes, but... Sorry. Dude, I definitely shot this thing in the head. How is it still alive? Don't worry, Lara. It's just nerves. Don't do it. Bambi, I'm sorry. Look away, animal fans. Hey. Okay, I got a skill point. Done. We'll come back here later when we have like a map of the area and then we can actually find all the secrets for free. Hey Serenity, welcome, how's things? Good evening to you. Alright, we made it back to camp. We sent to arrange some of Among Us when then I saw certain someone who went live, so that's gotta wait until after a stream. Hell yeah. Okay, so spend skill points in the skills menu to upgrade abilities. Sure. Uh do I only have one type of skill? How does this work? Earn an extra reward when looking for animal corpses and food caches. Uh advanced salvaging. Thoroughly search crates and cache to find caches to find extra salvage. What is this one? Keen observation allows you to spot hard to find animals and food sources. 
Bone Collector. Carefully loot animals will reward you with extra salvage. Arrow Retrieval. Resources from archers can be uh, recovered from the bodies. Okay, we've also got Hunter. A focus Mind allows you more time with, uh, to aim deadly shots. Ammo Efficiency. So there's only two types in this one. There's Survivor and then there's Hunter, right? Is that right? There's Yeah, there's just the two. Looks like Hunter's got less stuff. Increased strength allows you to carry maximum amount of ammo. Efficient use of bags and pockets will allow you to carry more ammunition. That's kind of okay, but probably not that important at this moment in time. Uh, aiming, aiming longer for deadlier shots seems okay, but I don't know if I need that. I'm going to go ahead and pick up, like, um, animal corpses and food caches. I feel like that's pretty relevant just now when we have access to animals. I would also want to take more salvage from crates, though. Let's uh, let's go for this. Uh, for extra XP and food caches, master. Okay. This game seems to suffer with a lot of flickering. Like, see between the menus when you're sliding through between things, especially in the main menu where you're clicking like new game options uh, continue. This game seems to really suffer from a lot of like fucking craziness going on, and I don't know why it's like that. Anyways. Not a big deal. So we've completed this area 12% and we've only gotten one perk so far. That's fine. So we have no access to the other things yet. It's all unavailable. So I think we just cancel here. This is Conrad Roth, captain of the Endurance. We are shipwrecked on an island inside the Dragon's Triangle. Roth? Lara? You're alive! Easy, easy. Are you okay? What happened? I remember the beach. And then it went black and I woke up in a cave. There was this crazy man, Roth, and a dead body. Oh, God. Where are you now, Lara? Are you safe? It was so horrible. It's all my fault. This is all my fault. Lara, listen to me. I sent an SOS from the Endurance before I abandoned her. Hopefully someone caught it. I've spoken to the others. We're regrouping at my location. <sighs> Please come and get me. I have to stay here. You can do this, Lara. Remember when we climbed Snowden? You said the key was knowing that all you've got to do is just keep, keep moving. moving. Mm -hmm. Remember everything I've taught you, Lara. You're ready for this. Y'all ready for this? And keep your radio on. Okay. Okay. Is Snowden Snowden's in Wales, right? Is that a Welsh mountain? I think. I think we talked about this before. I don't know why uh, on my overlay, obviously, Gajin gifted a sub to Golden of squ uh, Squares of Golden. I don't know why that sub didn't fill the box Music. on top of J-Bob. But um, I don't know if my... Uh, hopefully my things aren't bugged out, but I'll have a look into that later. I'm pretty sure Squares should have appeared in that box. I don't know why it didn't update. Um, which is a bit weird, but... Maybe because it was a gifted sub, but I don't think that would actually be a problem. Uh, there's a GPS cache right here, apparently. And we're supposed to go this way. Find a way to exit the forest. Let's go ahead and do that then. Apparently there's a GPS cache right there. But it must be there must be another way around, I think. I can hear like a singing coming from that door. But there's also a guy bound here, which is kinda weird. Hello? I think I'm supposed to go in Hello? there, but I don't really want to go is there. Someone yet. there? This is the same area we were just in though, right? How can there be a... How can there be a GPS? Maybe that's where I found the GPS cache? Am I... How do I bring up the map? Tab? Okay. Why is there telling me there's a GPS cache here? Maybe that's just because that's the one we got? But then why are the wind chimes and stuff not on it? it seems a bit bizarre. Our skills, we've got our gear, relics, documents, and all that stuff too. Undiscovered. So there's a bunch of relics to find in this area. Hey, White Boy McGee, what's up, friend? From my experience, you should never use Wiz Air when choosing your flight. Oh, what happened with Wiz Air Stonebird? Was there is there a story behind that? So, which Tomb Raider is this? The good one or the annoying one? This is the first. So there's three reboots of Tomb Raider Serenity, done by Square Enix and uh, Idos. This is the first one of the reboot series, so this is Lara right back at the start of her, her journey to becoming the Tomb Raider. This is the very beginning. 
So she's just a keen kind of young archaeologist who's inherited her family's estate at this point. I don't think she has any of her skills, any of her training, and she gets wrecked in this game. She gets she gets messed up something chronic. I don't know why there was a GPS icon here. I'm a little bit confused as to what's going on because I'm pretty sure we got that, but let's just continue on for the time being. We're going down the hole, I think. We'll come back to this area later. I think it, it, later on in the game you can fast travel between waypoints. Then we're going into the spooky area. This could be a way the fact that there's a hatch here is very lost-esque. Oh. Damn it. That's awkward. Shift to drop. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, this is one of the good ones, I think. We'll see how it lasts, though. Uh, shift the job. Okay. My torch goes away when I put my bow out. Can I go back to my torch? Does she get it out automatically? Okay. Don't drop it, Lara. We don't have any electronic devices, so... When this one goes out, we're doomed. I like how this is like an underground passageway that's like collapsed in on itself. Oh god, this is insane. Can I set this on fire? There we go. We got some stuff here. Salvage. Can't get through, but look, it's shown as a pickaxe symbol. What we got here? Lara just casually sets fire to the hole. Okay. So we get some XP for that as well. There's little treasures to find. No one leaves. <laughs> oh my lord, dude. Here we go. This is what we're after, guys. Crucial part of our... Uh, crucial part of our survival skills here. One of our uh, most important tools. There's no way that thing would hold together though if you were trying to bust open a door. In practice here, like. Spammy, 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 spammy. There we go. Maybe I took the wrong skill point. Maybe I should have took the point that was like extra, extra XP from salvage and things like that. Instead of shooting animals. I guess I could have shot more animals in that area. Would have maybe been a bad thing. But then we risk losing all of our ammo, and I don't think there's unlimited ammo at this point, so I don't know. I think we're going up. Oh, we're just going this way. Nope. Oh, there's a ladder. Of course there's a ladder. I knew that. I'm still in a dream. Wizard gave my mum and me bad experiences. My mum uh, had our flight cancelled and didn't get a refund. And as for me, they made me stay two hours on a plane that didn't take off and then told us it'll be delayed. Oh dear. That sounds pretty tough, Stonebird. So you sat on the plane for two hours and then, what, they pulled you back off it again? That sounds like a yikes, my guy. Somebody's here. Sam? We have a fire. Look for the smoke. We're on our way. I think we made it to our friends. Laura, you made it. <laughs> I like how she's seen Sam. us. Um, Thank goodness. Surprise. It's okay. He's one of us. What? Sorry if I startled you. This place would make anyone a little jumpy. We just spoke to your crew. They're on their way. All right, Jess, take it easy. See you later, friend. Oh, was the least I could do. My manners. I'm sorry. I'm Matthias. Matthias. Oh no. By trade. It's like Matthias, but with a T. Oh no. I'm not really cut out for island life, I'm afraid. <laughs> He's got a weird so necklace on. Exhausted. Sit down. Yeah. Sam here was just telling me about the sun. Right. Him ago. Can you tell me more? I'm intrigued. Well, believe it or not, a couple thousand years ago, Queen Himiko pretty much ran things in Japan. <laughs> she loves telling this story. 
Himiko was beautiful, enigmatic, but also Himiko was also the main tomb slash relic dead person that they're trying to find in the movie as well. And this is where she loses me. Well, there's always some truth to miss. She commanded an army of samurai warriors, her magnificent storm guard. They rode the very winds into battle, laying waste to all who opposed them. They say the sun rose at Himiko's command, and she ruled everything its rays touched, from the mountains to the sea and beyond. <sighs> but what happened to her? Oh, Lara's fallen asleep. She's dead. She's already dead, mate. Oh no, Sam's making Sam's making out with the old guy. Shit. <laughs> why would they just why would they just leave her? Oh, my leg. It's calling a bear trap. I think I remember this. Can I cancel? Oh god. That was kind of creepy, dude. There we go. I don't think you actually have to draw your bow back. I think you just quick sculpt them. Here. There we go. Luckily, Lara's quick on the draw. Don't know how many fucking wolves are here or how they didn't stand in the wolf trap. Maybe it's not a bear trap, it's a wolf trap. Yeah. Hey, Valkyrie, what's up? The rest of us should fan out and look for Sam. I'll go with her. No, no, let, uh, let me. We know how to use one of these? It's, it's been a while. It, it's all coming back to me. Get to Roth. We'll find Sam and this Matthias guy. They'll just split up again. Classic. Lara's like being fucking be winded. Okay? Yes, I, oh, I just need to rest for a few minutes. Bet you these two uh, humans are smelling absolutely fantastic right now. Lara's like, here, carry me. Whoa, get away for that. You sit, uh, you sit here. I'll, uh, <clears throat> I'll check up ahead. God, great. Well, he's dead. Hashtag kill the camera, man. Camera's very, uh, it is, yeah, it is like that a little bit, Rob, for That's sure. So bad. Okay, can I set this on fire? We need to be able to find a. Can I use the campsite? We got anything exciting? How do I stop? No. Okay. One of Lara's journals. What we got over here? I Document viewer. Actually, on an expedition to find the homeland of my ancestors. Oh my god. Ever since I told Lara the story of Himiko years ago, she's been hunting for its location. That sounds like a Trails of Cold Steel voice actress. Who was that? Here we go. Nice. Gonna light this. And then I think we can burn this for XP, I think. Should drop some things for us. Yeah, there we go. 20 salvage. Collect salvage to upgrade weapons at the base camp. So we're gonna do that in due course. Looks like, uh... Oh yeah, we're gonna... Ooh! Nearly missed this. Wait. Uh, uh, axe is too fragile, a stronger axe is needed to open. Okay, so if we can come back here, maybe we can actually, uh... 
open that um, with an upgraded weapon. I wonder if I can actually upgrade at the workbench. Is there anything back the way? Okay, let's continue on. This is this is the way back, but I thought there might have been something like behind us that we could maybe find. There might even be that. Do I have enough salvage to upgrade? No? Unavailable. So I think I can upgrade in a little while, but not yet. We're gonna have to come back to this campsite later and get whatever's in this box. But for the time being, we're gonna go look for this guy who's run off ahead. So I think you get a little bit of XP when you find those, but then when you complete the set, I think you get even more. Oh. What we got here? I think you can, uh... Okay. Sam. We need to find out who Sam's voice actress is if we haven't looked it up, alright? Where's Angelina? I feel robbed. Angelina's gonna appear later on when Lara gets older and gets a bit thicker. But for the time being, she's still a young spring fawn. She's innocent, Rob. Looks like I can go through there. There are secret tombs in this game, like secret puzzles that provide you with new abilities. I think, no, not new abilities, but maybe more weapons or something in this game. In the later Tomb Raider games, I think Rise and Shadow, you actually do unlock actual perks for your character, which is kind of cool. Oh. Oh, shit. Where did the other one go? Can I just harvest this? Oh no. Oh, I pushed the wrong button again. I'm dead. I wish it was really... See if you've got a quick time event, they need to make it clear, man. It's not very clear when you're like, what button you actually have to push. I missed the first, the second shot on the booth. I don't think I have to find the GPS twice though, which is good. Sorry. It's F. F is my melee button, not E. But E is interactable sometimes in the quick time moment, so I gotta get used to that. Let's uh let's fight these guys again. There we go. Two two shots kills, I think. If you power it up If you pull back your uh, arrow longer, I wonder if you actually get more more damage on them. You probably do. Salvage here. Salvage down there as well. I don't know if I should be opening these before I can up The fuck? <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. Um, we're gonna take good practice and I mean, Lara's on her training journey, but I think we're gonna have to be on our journey as well. We're gonna have to improve. I think we're close to level up. Oh god. I always have to remember to use my channel points. Why doesn't she have a gun? She's been shipwrecked on the island, Rob. She doesn't have any weapons just yet. The, the bone arrow she's got, she got from a corpse. But she'll get guns later for sure. I think we can actually climb over here. So, the game wants me to go... Oh, the game actually wants me to go in this direction. Let's go over here and have a little look. What we got? Okay, so this is the map. So now all of the secrets should be available to us, yeah. So the ones we have found have been lit up. Uh, lit up like this. And the ones we haven't found are now mysterious, which is good. So we should be able to head to these one at a time. Uh, sure. Woo! So now that we've got the map, it should make things a little bit better. Should be able to get some XP and stuff. I wonder if we're going to be attacked by wolves again. We probably will be. Oh, I got some plants. But she's Lara Croft. This is this this is her the start of our journey. She's she had this is sort of like her origin story. I feel like. She had to start somewhere, right? She didn't just come out the womb knowing how to backflip and shoot her pistols. This is a. Uh, this is how she got as badass as she is. This is like how it all began, I guess. 
All right, there's a GPS right here. There we go. Let's get some XP for that. Can I jump onto this? Here we go. Something over I'm here as well. I think I can jump onto this. Who are they worshiping? So I can light that salvage up, I think. At the moment, she's Lara Soft. Yeah, she's Lara Soft at the moment. But one day she's going to be Lara Croft in due course, hopefully. Uh, if this is the first one, it's a retelling of an origin story. She's not a combat ready Croft yet. Yeah. That's the one. So we got that. What else have we got to find here? Yeah, there's a document right in front of us somewhere. There we go. We actually just got a. Uh, because of how quiet the voice is when they're talking, guys, I'm probably not that bothered about, like, listening to all the stuff. Uh, which is a bit of a shame, because there's probably a lot of cool pitter patter in here, but I'm just not that bothered. I'm gonna go over here. I think there's, like, another artifact. We picked up a skill point, so if I go back to the camp, I can actually get it so that we get more XP from opening the salvage boxes. I'm probably gonna activate that at some point. Oh my god, that almost killed me. What the fucking shit? What the fuck was that, dude? Why are these nettles so deathly? Ah, here we go. Got him. 500 XP for this. This must be another treasure. This mask was used in the traditional Japanese. That looks exactly like the other mask. I don't know if there's a difference, but it might just be because my settings are on low. <laughs> Bunch of arrows. Looks like the wolves go down in two arrows, which is good. Um, and I don't think I have to actually. Oh fuck. Speaking of wolves. Oh, they run away. Don't know where the other one went. It should be here. There we go. And we should get extra XP from harvesting these. Because we took that point. There we go. Feels good. So we've got ev pretty much everything in this area now. We just need to go up to the to the base, to the boss. I could go back to the camp, but I think we'll just cash in on that later. Let's just uh, let's just follow the story for the time being. I think we're gonna have some platforming soon, because this is like our little. Oh, here's a campfire here, brilliant. There we go, nice. So we're gonna spend this, and I think I know what one I want. We're gonna take more survival skills. Uh, the hunter perks and the the like the ambush attack perks are pretty cool, but for the time being, I'm gonna take another point in. We've already got this. I would like to take... These two would synergize together. The, you know, getting extra XP from killing animals and then hunting animals would definitely synergize, which is nice. But I'm going to take extra salvage from crates because later on um, we're going to need these to upgrade as much salvage as we can get. And this is like a, a good perk to take early on so that our, our, our money just piles up and up and up. I don't know if there's a system in this game where if you have a lot of salvage, maybe the game actually stops spawning as many salvage things, but I don't think it works like that. You know what I mean, like sometimes when you play a Resident Evil game, you know when you have 30 shotgun ammo, the game stops giving you shotgun ammo because it knows that you're getting too strong. I feel like there might be a system like that in play for this game, but I, I don't know. Let's just uh, speak to the doctor here. These are fascinating. The wolves aren't on steroids, Rob, they're just hungry. Oh, it was Buckets that said Lara Soft, not Cactuar. You guys are both green, sorry. How's it going, Buckets? What's up, man? The real, ra the real Lara Croft has always been combat ready, born in, with a 911 in her hand. She wasn't born with a 911 in her hand, Rob. See if you can work the other one. The handle's missing. Here we go. Together. Oh shit! It won't take the force. We're gonna have to upgrade it, make it better. Find something sturdier to turn it with. Must be something around here we can use. Incredible. This guy seems a bit creepy. Let's see if I can. What do? Where is my? Uh, oh, my ammo's in the top right. So having my UI in the bottom left doesn't seem that bad. Find a camp to upgrade the axe. We've already done that. Uh, why are these barrels highlighted? Is that because I can? Oh, I can light my torch. I just saw. Where did I see that? I saw like a hanging thing here. Yeah, it is, it's right in front of me. Amaterasu? The Amaterasu server of Digimon World 3? Please no. Don't ever mention that again. I will kill you. Right. 
So I think now we have access to our upgrades and stuff. This guy's more in a way. Can we open this one? No. But when we upgrade, we should be able to do it. Let's have a look here. So, use collected salvage to upgrade gear and weapons in the gear menu. Uh, I think we get this one. Oh, we've got 50, so because we've already went around and collected it. There we go. So now our... Uh, can I spin this? Yeah. Oh, well. Very, very slightly. It doesn't feel very good. Looks like we've got a stronger pickaxe now, which can open stuff. Which is cool. Let's see what's in the box next, this. What's in the box? Pew, 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 pew. Can actually go back to the other the other campsite set. So yeah, we get our salvage back as well, which is pretty sweet. I'm gonna quickly nip back, guys. Ooh. I did not see that before. So now we're getting 15 salvage from each of these boxes instead of 10. So the upgrade is already like coming in immediately, which is good. For every third if we find two boxes, we get one for free. Oh shit. Did not even see it. Holy shit, where did you fuckers come from? The wolf pack's attacking me. Let's uh, quickly nip back through here. Eventually, like I said, we'll get fast travel, so I don't have to do this now, but we'll do it while we have the opportunity. I want to see what's in this box as well. Probably just going to be more salvage, but we'll do it while we're here. Hmm. Gotta love video games and how they make you wish you had potential the potential to actually do things. If carrying a torch isn't a cool thing, I don't want it. <laughs> if we were in the sin, we would have probably died already. Yeah, there's a certain element of, uh, you know, you have to take your realism and stick up your ass to enjoy the uh, the story, but then that's why, that's why stories are stories, guys, right? They have to have a bit of, not always, but they have a bit of ridiculous uh, fantasy to them. Or else it wouldn't be very exciting if they were just of regular mundane life. Nobody would call it a story, right? Going all right. Going through. Going through another lockdown. Says, uh, says buckets. How's that going, buckets? Are you surviving? You were self isolating not too long ago, buckets. How did that go? Are you back to self isolating again? Uh, nothing unusual with the wolf pack attacks. Yeah, that's actually true. I don't think there's anything else I can upgrade now at the campfire, is there? I've got a lot of gear because I opened those two boxes, but we don't actually... Oh, I can upgrade my bow. Nice. We'll have a look at this then. So, we don't have enough salvage for this, but it's available. Find uh, bow part 2 to unlock the next upgrade. Uh, reinforced bow limbs allows a stronger pull for increased damage. That's obviously really good. Means we can maybe one-shot the wolves. And then wrapped string enables a faster firing rate, so it's going to pull back and shoot faster. That's pretty sweet too. Alright, not bad. We'll get to that later though. We're just stockpiling our gear, our salvage for the moment. How's the brightness for you guys? I've turned the brightness up a little bit earlier on, just for the sake of immersion, but it does look a bit kind of washed out a little bit. Maybe it's just because it's a poorly lit area. Shall we give it a go then? Yes! Let's do this, Doctor. Beep, 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 beep. Mash E to crank. Who wants to take bets that the doctor's gonna die? I think he's gonna be ripped apart by a cougar. This does not seem like a good idea. Why they would do this by themselves, it makes no sense. That female figure on the gate. Given the age of the symbols, it could be the Sun Queen. Himiko, are you sure you're not channeling Sam, Dr. Whitman? I think this guy, I think Dr. Whitman no likes channeling Sam Himiko in his brain when he's alone at night, naked. I mean, what? Wait, who are we attacking? A woman We're not attacking anyone yet, but the wolves attack us. Anyone who gets in our way. <laughs> Even what may seem to us Just feral attacks. We Just bite them. To learn about the world. Straight for the throat. You sound like my father. It could be one hell of a story. Brighton seems fine here, okay. Not if we don't live to tell it. Super Wooper Trooper, it's the gurging. Okay, I wonder if this is going to be our first Incredible. secret temple. It is Himiko. Let's find out. But look, the bowl, the candles. Why is she still being worshipped? This island, it must have once been part of Yamatai. You were right, Lara. The Lost Kingdom. It's like finding Atlantis. 
But this is real, Dr. Whitman. We're not standing on a myth. <laughs> We're standing on a gold mine. Oh. Come, quickly. Your friends are hurt. Yes, oh. By them. Get back. They can't be trusted. Who's this guy? Oh, no. You still have a gun. Shh. Back I off. I don't want any trouble. No. We'll come. Pussy. But I insist that afterwards you take us to whoever's in charge. What are you doing? Be quiet. No! I'm handling this! No! Oh! Wow, what the fuck? Get off! Oh! Just just go along with them, Laura. Do it, do whatever they say. Timing up just a lot. Rush he said uh, if anybody doesn't speak Russian he said Rush B. Laura! If they give you any trouble, kill them. Don't hurt them, please. Uh oh. Don't touch me. Uh. Get your hands off me. Yeah, as if that's gonna happen, bro. Don't you fucking move, and then he just leaves us. All right, here we go, guys. Ready for some. Ready for some. I was about to say ready for some stealth, but apparently that's just instantly thrown down the toilet. Okay, well that was a narrow window of pain. I guess we just literally. Sorry, I was a bit fucked. I was trying to get around this guy. I don't think we can actually, like, sneak attack anyone yet. What's this guy up here doing? Anything? Keep looking. There, another one. Oh God. I guess we're just going straight through. Into the little house. Oh! <laughs> that was really fluid. That was going so well, and then this guy's just like standing, chilling there. <laughs> Maybe I should have peeked around the corner. Lana does feel really. Uh, she feels really weird on her feet. Um, like the, when you push right, she like kind of turns and then starts moving. It doesn't really feel very. It's a little bit jerry. I'm not gonna lie. You kind of have to like turn and then she kind of stumbles. Maybe it's because her hands are... Maybe it's because her hands are bound behind her back. I don't know. I think we're going this way. Now if this was me, I'd just hide in this little shed. Hmm. Just a snap lockdown. Should I lower the case's issue? Is my wife finally got to work and won't be able to start? Oh no, the buckets. That sucks. I'm sorry to hear that, Buckets. Uh oh. Now oh, he found us. I learned that from the wolves. Wait, how did we break her? We're right in the dick. Wait, did that work? Oh, dude, it keeps changing, man. That time it was E for the quick time. What the fuck, bro? I also shot this man in the penis. How's he still able to fight me? <laughs> what the fuck? How does our restraints break here? So it was F twice, and then, and then now it's E. See you, loser. Dude, he's not coming back. Wait, what? Oh, she got him. 
I don't know how that man managed to fuck that up. I know Lara's a survivor and she fought back, but like, how did he throw that? He had the girl bound, but hands behind her back and he had the gun. Somehow she breaks out of her, her hand restraints and then shoots him in the head. Top 10 throws of all time there, mate. He's not going to Valhalla anyway. Alright, so I have a pistol now. How do I swap between these again? Oh, I've got no pistol bullets, no ammo for my bolt either. Uh, I think that's the way I'm supposed to go. Oh, banged into a fucking flaming branch there. Have we got anything over here? Anything exciting in this tiny little area? Just a view of what looks like Mount fucking Doom. Game looks really good though, like the, the scenery and stuff. Again, this is on normal settings, so it probably looks even better on higher. The detail will be a lot cleaner, I think. Okay, so far, my worst nemesis in this game has been my quick time interaction, but again, I feel like the quick time is a little bit... It's not exactly very clear. And you get little time to react to it. I know that's the point of quick time, right? It's quick, but... You gotta let me know what fucking monster push, bro. Maybe I'm just not used to the PC uh, things popping up on my screen. I need to really work on my uh, sensitivity, but the game is so loose, bro. Like, it's fucking wild. And I don't know if... Uh, it feels kind of crazy. Like, like we've got it literally turned all the way down to here. Like, I don't know what the fuck this game's... I don't know. The, the sliders in this game are so weird. Like, the audio is really loud, and then it's really quiet, and then the sensitivity is really whack, and then it's really, like, loose. I don't know what's going on. I managed to survive, at least. Probably wasted a bit more ammo than I would have liked, but hey ho. See, that was an F interaction, not an E interaction. I guess because she was kicking, but then. Dude, I don't know, man. Alright, what we got here? Is this ammo? Alright. We got some arrows too. Okay. Silent kill. Use your bow to kill enemies silently. There we go. What is uh she gives little fucks at this point. We get ammo off this guy? Yeah, there we go. Jesus Christ, please. Okay. We get some salvage, that's not bad, and three bullets. Charge bow shot left mouse bar, uh, button to draw back the bow and do extra damage with the charge, that's fine. Can we shoot guys from up here or...? Nah. Here we go. So what came in, another tanker? Nah, looked like some kind of research ship. Should be some good stuff then. Can I melee Got a crew towing it in now. F? Oh, you up to Mashi. What's going on down there? Everything okay? I can't melee this guy. I thought they... I thought they... I thought the game wanted me to sneak up on these guys, but... Oh. Dude, this guy's Hanzo, man. What's with this, the quick scoping, bro? I don't think that's how that scenario is meant to play out. <laughs> not, been, not been very successful as Tomb Raider so far. But we're getting better, I think, slowly. Give it time. The uh, 
I don't know, am I, was I supposed to pistol whip these guys and go headshot, headshot? I think I was supposed to creep up behind them. But then when I did that, the other guy immediately turned uh, around, so... Are you there? Yes! I can see smoke coming from the old ruins. Not sure. You okay? Oh god, Roth, I'm in trouble. They're killing people. What? Who? Oh god, I killed this guy. Kills more people than Doom why. guy kills Demon straight after. I have to kill some of them. I have no choice. The Doom guy. That can't have been easy. It's scary just how easy it was. You've got to warn the others, Roth. Don't worry about them right now. You just do whatever it takes to get to me, Lana. Okay. I'll try. We can go up the path here, right? Let's uh, pick up these arrows. You can go up the path, but look, there's like a secret area over here. Let's go up here first. See if we can find anything exciting. And look, there we go. GPS cache. And we've also got this. Mount Temple, was that actually a camp? Yeah, a campsite. Okay, cool. So this is like our little checkpoint area, I think. The thing about nightmares is sooner or later you wake up. Fast travel unlocked, okay. So now we can actually jump between them. I'm really doing these things. I don't have a map for this area. Don't think about it, Lara. Not now. Okay, let's have a look and see if we can upgrade any stuff here. We got a pistol upgrade. So you can choose what you're gonna play as as a player, like are you gonna use your pistol a lot so you can pick for you know if you're gonna be loud and noisy, you can just upgrade all this stuff. Burst fire mode seems terrible. Extended mag seems okay but not important. Recoil compensation, improve accuracy for increased damage. Okay. Uh, more accuracy for increased damage. Muzzle break. But that one's locked. Rapid fire mode we don't have enough for. Mm. Middle mouse to activate burst fire. I don't think I really want burst fire. I don't think extended mag is that important either. It says extra recoil. Improves recoil for extra damage so you can like shoot faster I guess because the... The gun's kicking less, but uh, I think we take stronger. I think we take a bit a better pullback on the bow. I think we go for this. We just upgrade the uh, the bow and arrow. Still going to be slow to draw back, but now the arrow should do more. That was a big investment. Slightly saw and tried and said, "Let's make that except with the teenager." Yeah, I think so. I mean, obviously, Tomb Raider has been around for a long time. It's obviously been out way before Uncharted, but I feel like. They were obviously trying to mimic a bit of Uncharted. This game's rather serious though. I feel like Unchar Uncharted doesn't take itself too seriously all the time. Just sometimes. Um, this game is very kind of dark and gritty. But obviously trying to tell Lara's kind of... Like a dark Lara origin story. Wait, I mean you've seen... Some of you guys might have seen the start when she gets like stabbed through the... The stomach from like a, a nail and then you know she gets fucking... Falls down a, a hill, breaks all of our limbs and shit like that. There's a lot of that going on and it's going to continue to happen throughout the entire game. Let's see what we've got in here. Is this like a little secret area? Got a little book. And a salvage crate here as well. Nice. We can also light the torch. Why would we want to light our torch? Is that just so we can see? I guess it's just so we can see. Unless there's something out here I can burn with a torch. Don't think I can climb up on top of this thing, can I? Is that a... No, I thought that was a box there. My daughter absolutely loved the series, which I find surprising. I mean, Lara's quite likeable in the first, the first game. Um, this one that we're playing, I feel. She gets a bit more moody later, for sure. Shoot arrows into walls near enemies to distract them. Gonna get rid of this torch. Maybe we get a hunting party down there. No, Father Matthias went himself. Told us to stay out. I think I'm supposed to distract these guys. You hear that? Stay here. I'll check it out. Okay, maybe we can. Oh, dude! What the fuck, man? I thought that cart was like something she was gonna take cover behind, but can't Why are you doing this? How many do you have? Oh, Jesus. Well, that was a complete and utter fucking fail. That cart literally looked like something she would crouch behind normally, but she didn't. Got better damage in the bow now. He's shooting fire arrows at me. 
We're getting the headshots. Are they gonna retreat or do they know I'm still here? They do a lot of wiggling, I've noticed that. Man, come on. You can't hide from me. Oh. <sighs> Feels bad, man. Like, what is really bizarre, right, is like, see here when you get to this wall, when there's enemies, she crouches behind it naturally. And see when I got to this, she's just like, I think this car, oh, I know what happened. This cart was like on its uh, on its wheels, I think, and I think that this is here for the enemies to knock over, and then they knock it up like this, and then they take cover behind it. it wasn't actually something for me to take cover behind. It just feels like it was a bit of a mess. But yeah, I can see why Heather would like this series for sure, SJ. I think Lara is quite likable. I think that's there's more arrows there. You've obviously su supposed to be able to climb up on top of that layer. Maybe not just now though. I think you can sneak past this entire segment. I'll get past all these guys, but yeah, a lot of come. Sometimes a lot of feels a bit wonky. She feels a bit kind of like it's hard to explain. It might just be my keyboard being shit or something, or maybe I'm just bad at the game, more than likely. I can claim up this area here, what, what's around the back? Let's check the top of the temple, because there's probably like some sort of like XP thing here. Yeah, here we go. That's what we wanted. Where's the Dino Crisis remake? Yeah, that's a good question, actually. Sounds like Dino Crisis would be quite popular. I think that would do all right. I don't know why. Maybe, maybe they're. I don't know why they wouldn't want to do a Dino Crisis remake. I, they, they must have talked about it at least once or twice. I think what you're supposed to do in this segment is uh, you're supposed to shoot the arrow there and then creep past these guys and go up and round. Kind of sad that I missed the opportunity to actually engage in that kind of still segment. That would be all right. We get XP for killing though, so it's not bad. Agree, the Dino Crisis and the Resident Evil engine would be amazing. Yeah, it would actually. Yeah, you're right. That would be sick. For sure. She went from this and Batman games to Persona 5. She played She played the Batman games? Is she? What, like Arkham? The Arkham Asylum games. I can't set this on... Oh, I see. Now she's an anime fan girl, just like me. I mean, what? All right, says Stonebird. I'm going. Goodbye, Stone. Thanks for hanging, man. Hope you have a good sleep tonight. Hope you don't get too uh, stressed out by the heat. I'm oh, trying to stealth kill this guy as well. We gotta get up and round to these guys before they actually start moving. You can probably stealth all these guys. What? I think we headshot this guy closest and then creep up behind the last one and melee him from behind. I don't know if they'll notice that that guy that I've just shot is dead. There she is. Oh, what? There must have been another one. I don't, I don't know where these guys were, I didn't see them at all. I guess there was guys all the way at the tippy top. It was bad by me. Whoop. 
collect all this salvage from these dudes, and then I think we just leg it. Woo! Seabird sounds about right. Once you go down the GRPG Wee Pole, there is no return. The Wee Pole. <laughs> the Wee Pole. If I jump in here, is this death? Oh, there's so much down here, though. There we go. Nice. The, the Weepo, yeah. Once you start, you can't go back. Sounds about right, actually. <laughs> the Weepo. <laughs> what we got over here? Anything exciting? Okay, I can get some of this. Go collect some of this as well. There we go. Finding some freebies feels good, man. We managed to dig our way out of that. We, we got a couple of stealth kills. Probably not as many as we should have. And uh, managed to headshot the rest of the guys, which is pretty good for the most part. There's a couple of explosions and stuff. I'm trying to figure out how to get... How to get good, but at the same time... Game's like straightforward enough so that we don't suffer too much pain when we die, which is good. Right, there's a crate here, um, which if I get fire, I can actually kill. Uh, there's fire all over this place, but... And then there's these things as well. You can shoot these lamps, but... I don't know why this would be relevant to down here. Maybe over here I can find something and come back for this. There is a ledge here. That's where we got the salvage box, right? Oh, fuck, I don't want to do that. I don't think I can shoot the lamps and get fire from them on, like, my arrow or anything like that. Must be something around here. Although these areas are supposed to be explored over, like, return trips when you get new tools and upgrades and bigger jumps and things, so... Maybe for the... T oh, here we go. This should work. Should be able to get it from this. Nice. So as long as that doesn't go out, we're alright. Hmm. She was really into Final Fantasy uh, 14? Was that? Or oh, 15? And also... 7. Nice. Sounds like a pretty good mix. I sent you to live. Hello, welcome back. What's up? Where's my Mass Effect? I sent you to live. Mass Effect is finito, my guy. Mass Effect has been completed. All our VODs are up on YouTube at this point, though. So if you're interested in catching up, feel free. We haven't started Mass Effect 3. That'll be for another time. There we go. When we Alright, I guess Max B for that as well. Not bad. I don't think this is a particularly long game. This is one of these games that's kind of designed to be experienced over a couple of days and then that's you, you know. Oh god. Alright, back to platforming. I think we've been, uh, we're done killing for the time being. Did you, sh uh, did you enjoy getting a chance to peek at Gladio's abs? I think we all enjoy doing that. Food Fantasy 15 was good. It was a good, a, a good game to like lose yourself in. I think nice, kind of relaxed exploration game. Some shooting going on right here. Fighting wolves. Rock is failing miserably. Rock, I'm coming. We saw someone chewing his leg. You stood in a bear trap too. Looks worse than it is. Uh, Have you heard from any of the others? Nothing. Wait, what are you doing? The wolves took my food pack. The transmitter from the lifeboat's in it. If we don't get that back, we're not getting off this bloody island. Yeah, you need you need bandages, morphine, antiseptic. And also in the pack. Shit. Exactly. Come here. Oh, 
Roth moving in on that ass. No, 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 no. Uh oh. No. <laughs> that oh, didn't work out. Me, you northern bastard. Oh. Well. Okay. Roth's doomed. Okay. Well, about that. I'd say he's got about 15 minutes. Uh oh. Not the wolves of Isengard, please, not again. You're just playing this for the sex? I don't think there's a lot of sex in it, I sense you to live. In fact, I think there's exactly zero sex, so if I was playing it for the sex, it wouldn't be the right reason. Well, that is pretty hard, though, if that's what you're asking. What Can't deny that. Fucking headshot that little fuck from here. Nope. Okay. Right, so this area is fairly, fairly big. Got a little campsite here. Uh, I've got a skill point to spend as well. Let's see what we can do. Do we want to keep taking points here? Don't care about extra arrows. Looting animal corpses will reward you with extra salvage. Uh, did not have that already. What was I getting? Extra rewards. Okay, so extra salvage doesn't seem like a bad a bad show. The more salvage we get the best or, or the the better. Well so we got in the hunter tree, just two things. More ammo and deadly shot. I mean those are kinda shit. I think I'm gonna just take uh anything that gives me more XP is is definitely a plus or more salvage, so we're gonna take this. I actually thought I had took this one. I thought I took Bone Collector, but I think I fucked up and picked the wrong one. That'll do for the time being. I don't think we've got a lot of salvage, do we? Can we spend anything here? That's 100%. The bow is like 10%. Extra drawback speed? I mean, why not? Probably gonna come. It's probably gonna be relevant at some point. We're gonna heavily invest in our bow as opposed to the pistol. But the pistol will get up upgraded later on for sure. Pepperoni, hi! What's up, Pip? Uh, she had a copy at her house of Serenity and a copy at mine. She was playing it at two different points simultaneously and she really loved the game. Yeah, Final Fantasy XV. That was a weird one. Had good bits and bad bits for sure. I feel like the good bits were really good and then the bad bits were like... Oh my god, why? What have we got here? I don't think we can do anything with this yet, can we? Fire is needed to ignite this object. Alright, well we can get that, no problem. This is our first kind of open area exploration point of the game where you can like literally investigate this point for quite some time. Whether we actually do that or not, I'm not sure. Let's see, what happens if I set this on fire? Can I push this? I think what you have to do here is like shoot your arrow at this. Um, if I was to get my bow out. There's something you do with this, but I can't remember what it is. Regardless, we've lit it for now, which is fine. You can also shoot your arrow into this as well later, but I don't think we have that capability yet. You probably, uh, oh, I think I know. You probably shoot your arrow into that, it, you bind it to this, it probably draws it back, and then you probably cut it and it swings, if I had to guess. Maybe something like that. Ignis? Over and over, I like the blonde guy with the glasses, Igni, yeah. Uh... Noctis. I've come up with the new recipe. Oh, yeah. Iggy Mombasa. He was a cool guy. I feel like Ignis's end into the story was, like, super tragic, though. It was kind of sad. I don't know what this little lady is used for. Didn't seem to end very well for Iggy. It wasn't like totally sad, it wasn't the end of the world, but like, yikes. Iggy got kind of did dirty in Final Fantasy XV and, yeah. Hey, hey, dude, I love Tomb Raider. Pepperoni, how's it going? What's up? I also like Tomb Raider quite a lot. We're just chilling, hanging out, trying not to die to wolves, although that's been going pretty poorly. 
don't know how we get up there. I think we go up and then drop down. Let's find out what this area's got to offer then, see if we can find some stuff. I'll, I'll look around the bottom floor. Oh, chickens. I probably shouldn't be using my pistol ammo on the chickens. I don't think any player would comfortably do that, but I know we get extra XP for and salvage from killing animals. And I'm planning on... Yo, S, you have a gift to you. Let's go, guys. I've had four subs today, and I can't thank you enough. It's a fairly relaxed playthrough of Tomb Raider, guys, so I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna save my arrows for the main the main villains, and then maybe use the pistol later. I don't know. Honestly, I liked all of them, says Cactuar, talking about the group deny dynamic in Final Fantasy 15. Yeah, I really liked the beginning when it was the four bros on the road trip. Yeah, Serenity, me too. I like that, but I think that was the strongest part of Final Fantasy 15. I think that's what they intended most of the game to be like, but I think towards the end of the development cycle, Final Fantasy 15 had a pretty outrageous development cycle. Um, and I think towards the end, you know, they were running out of time, and I think they put too much effort into some of the earlier points. So the ending was really, uh, the, the beginning was really strong, but some of the later parts of the game felt a bit lackluster at times. Pip uh, says, I played this game so many times when I was younger, yeah. I played this game a couple of years after it came out on PC by myself years ago, and I just thought it would be a good one to come back and kind of check it with you guys. Plus I already owned it, so it was, it was easy going. I thought we could add it to our archives on YouTube and just genuinely have fun. See if it's actually, if it still holds up. Weapon modification available. I can hear another chicken, but I don't know where it is. I think it may be up high. What have we got here? The Buddha statue. Can I like this? There we go. Illumination. Challenge unlocked. Complete for XP. Don't know. Again, I think you need to bind this with your bow and arrow. There's like rope abilities you can do with these bits. Well, let's start climbing then. We're going up here. Serenity, thank you for gifting us up to Pepperoni. That's 389 subs you've gifted. You absolute legend. Appreciate that SG a lot. Thank you. Dude, the chickens are respawning. I'm getting baited by the chickens. I can't stop salvaging them. Alright, I got my arrows back from in here. There was arrows here. Alright. Let's continue. Thank you, Serenity says Pip. Yeah, welcome back. Pip, you're back for your second month with us. Much appreciated and thanks for coming to see us tonight. How's your day going, Pip? What's been happening? Oh, I saw a treasure. Did you guys see that? Woo! Never thought, guys. Never could have imagined in, like, uh, in the future. When, uh... Oh, do I... I can't remember what I do. Do I do something with these? Oh, okay. That works. I didn't expect that to actually happen, but it, it did. Looks like I can jump on the flags. I wonder if I'm actually supposed to, uh... I think you're supposed to burn the flags or something, you know? Mm. Never expected I'm gonna finish my train of thought. When I played this game the first time years ago by myself, I never thought I'd be playing it again with you guys. Could never have imagined that. Because you guys weren't in my life at that point. Wild. These okay. were Kamakura period. Kamakura. This part of Yamatai. Kama, 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 chameleon. Alright, I've got another door here. Uh, examine? Where did that say examine? Was it here? Oh, a journal. I totally knew that was in the corner. If I shoot this lamp, will it actually burn that up? No love for Korch, for shame. No, oh, car was pretty sexy in his own way. Car was a fairly small part of the game, though. Obviously, we had him in the DLC, so that was nice, but... Car wasn't a huge part of Final Fantasy, uh... I don't know. Can you hear the boofies? Come to kick mass, chat. Car was a fairly small part of Final Fantasy 15. 
I'm excited for 60. These lanterns, I feel like I have to do something with them, but I'm not sure. I've got salvage over there, I can climb up probably and get on the plane. Again, we don't have our rope ability yet, so a lot of our stuff that we can do right now, I feel, is kind of somewhat limited. Okay, all these, all these things, I think we can destroy these later on with like a grenade launcher or something. It's been a while though. Okay, I can set that on fire. I just need a lamp. Which I think I can get from down there. Cora, 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 Chameleon. Can I climb up here? Oh, to the very top. Alright, is there anything up the very top? Oh, no, that's start. Okay. A lot of the no. <laughs> no, I want to go that way. I could do with some roast chicken at a missed dinner. Oh, no, Serenity, not like this. I woke up and Mrs. Wolf was like, Jack, we're getting KFC, deal with it. And I was like, alright, fine. I think, in fact, you know what I did earlier? I woke up, had food, and then immediately went straight back to sleep again. Which I don't think is very healthy for your digestive system, but hey ho. Hopefully I'll survive. Yeah, I was kind of just lying, chilling earlier. I was watching Cloud. He was playing Final Fantasy XIV and I actually fell asleep watching him. He was very relaxing. Nice. KFC, do you want to hurt me? Do you really want to hurt me? Kf KFC, Serenity. If I, uh, if I, if you were here, SJ, I would have definitely bought you some chicken. Alas, I just ate it all to myself. Wasn't that great? I'm kind of going off KFC, I think. It's the chips, man. It's the... The, ch the fries are just... You know, the fries came out a little while ago. They changed the recipe for the KFC fries. And, uh... I don't mind the old fries, but they brought the new ones and I thought, Hey, these are alright. Don't mind these. But, like, now I'm just... Kind of over them. They're always like super greasy, which is sad. Drop that mana. I saw something over there that was like an egg on top of one of these. I think it's on top of that one. I think there's an egg over there. I don't know if I can get on top. I think we're climbing on top of the plane, you know that? I think it's going to get dicey in here. Can't get up to that point yet. And I think the water current is going to carry me downstream and make me die. Don't think I want to get in there. So I think the only way we can go is... Oh no, there's something up there. Let's get it. New scroft. How do I climb up? I need to get back up to that bit. How did I miss this? Where is it? I, I can see something flashing when I'm like far away, but like it's not. Oh, there it is. You cheeky little bastard. Okay. Oh, she, she didn't even jump onto that. What the fuck? She falls down and breaks her neck. Okay, let's go. We're going in. This could get dicey, lads. I've been craving fried chicken for months. It was, was alright, SJ. If it makes you feel any better, it wasn't that fucking... The KFC I had, it wasn't really that great. Didn't really inspire a lot of excitement. I felt kind of gross eating it as well. Did I just see a wolf crawling down there, or was that my imagination? What the fuck? I could have sworn I just saw a wolf, like... It's a bird. Yeah, this swinging thing, we'll be able to interact with that a little bit more in the future. Looks like I can set this on fire as well and get some of these things later. I guess we take this over here. Don't know why we'll need fire, but you never know. Up, up and away. Honestly, I kind of think I would have preferred something healthy for my dinner tonight. Too much fast food is just horrible. Like, I know that sounds 
very moany money, but you can definitely overdo it. And then instead of like craving it and getting excited about it, you're just like, oh man, why are we doing this? That was kind of my feeling earlier. I know that sounds really negative and miserable, but wait, what, where am I getting attacked from? Was it in there? I think I've got a daddy wolf just barked at me. Oh, I can hear like a phone ringing. Oh, it's in the cave with the big daddy wolf. Perfect. Of course it is. You can climb up this later on as well. I don't think you can climb up that just now though. You need like an ice pick for that. Oh! Oh, there's a secret cave as well. We should go check that out first. Before we continue on with the main story. Yeah, tons of explorable areas here. I don't know if... Yeah, we'll come back to that later. I'm gonna go down and have a look in here. Hey! Wait, what was that? Examine. GPS. Ooh, I think we found our first treasure cave. Oh, I can't climb up that because I don't have the thing. Oh, okay. The game is really wanting me to go into this evil wolf cave and fight the evil daddy wolf. Right, I'm coming in. I've got a pistol and it shoots real bullets. Oh no, dude. There's gonna be a quick time event where a wolf mauls me. We're gonna have to dodge it. Hello, evil wolf. Ring, ring, ring. I'm coming through. I just want the pack. Just the pack. Not the wolf pack. What the fuck? Somebody turn that fucking phone off, mate. It's ringing off the hook. Oh, we're gonna be attacked. Okay. Oh, no, it's never, never gonna be that easy, is it? Okay. Well, I don't put the gun away. You fucking fool. Oh shit! Is it E or F? Must be F, yeah. Mash E. F. Okay. F. Spam F. Okay. We did not die to the wolf. Not this time. Piss off me. I laid down the watch out. The fucker's never gonna bother us again. Luckily there was only one wolf, so we won't have to worry about that ever again. Now we're gonna we're gonna phone for a helicopter extraction and the game's over. Roll credits. Survival instincts. We have to uh oh. Oh I should have shown that. I think we have to uh we're gonna abs we're gonna zip line all the way back to the, the camp. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else here I want. We've done all this. Right, fuck it. We're going flying. Woo! And before bad guys turn up. Oh shit. Can I jump that? Oh god, please don't kill me. Yeah, we definitely need like some sort of combat roll so that when we jump from afar we land smoothly. Hey Maester, what's up man? Indiana Jones has boobs. Yeah, and how great they are. Okay, welcome Maester. How's things boss? Right. How's life treating you man? The Maester Mixter. Who has cats in his kitchen? Or just one cat? Mm, 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 mm. Oh, he's alive. I don't know how these campfires continuously exist in the rain. Serenity! Just handing out the gifted subs, did you get a gifted sub and you get a gifted sub and you get a gifted sub. Serenity is second place in the gifted sub leaderboards of the month of July 2021. Actually, thank you, Maester. Welcome back for eight months worth the pack, my guy. 
Thanks for being here supporting and I hope you're having a good Sunday, Maester. What's, what's new? Way too hot to sleep and I have the world's loudest fan. Oh, I feel you, bro. Have you had a long day today, Maester, or what's been happening, man? Not bad. What is a young lady like you learn to do a thing like that? <laughs> Late shift at the Nine Bells. Wolf's got nothing on a broken bottle. Hey, you got it. Nice work. So I assume the plan is to take that up to the radio tower. Well, that should give us the best shot of broadcasting a strong signal in every direction. Guess who's going up the radio tower? Lana. This guy. We need to send out that SOS. Uh, and then climb it uh, 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 Yeah, I was afraid you were going to say that. <laughs> you can do it, Laura. Yo, Lobotomy! You're a croft. Guess who's back? I don't think I'm that kind of croft. Sure you are. Thank you, guys. Lobotomy, how's things? What's new? You just don't know it yet. Wait. Oh my god, the pickaxe. You want me to play Minecraft, Roth, at a time like this? Are you fucking kidding? Well, that's happened my fast life. There's a... Uh, when they made this game, guys, Square Enix and uh, the other people who make it, I think it's Eidos, they created this new uh, mechanic for this game called Trez Effects, which I think is to do with the hair. And you can actually... It has its own setting inside of the game. So, you know when you're changing, like, shadow quality, uh, texture quality, detail quality, you can set all that up to ultra or whatever. There's actually a specific setting, which is just to do with Lara's ponytail. And it makes the strands of her hair look really, like, I guess, distinctive and high definition. It's, it's really weird. If you do put it on, it typically shatters your frame rate, or at least it did back in the day. I'm sorry I can't show you guys some of that stuff, but maybe at some point in the future we can. Lobotomy, thank you for the 100 bits. Serenity, thank you for the gifted subs. Pip and Maester, welcome back to the gang. It's lovely to see everybody tonight. Unfortunately, we've just got standard normal graphics ponytail. Be careful, Laura. Which is still alright for its time. You know that if Square Enix is handling a game, the graphics are going to be stellar. I do think there is an element to what Rob was saying earlier about the camera being too shaky though. That is definitely something that once you notice it, it is like, oh. But I think they're trying to give you this kind of like guttural, rugged survival adventure game. I want to give that axe a go on the rock wall over there first. Oh yeah, Roth, I'll just climb up the fucking rock wall, will I? Right, now we've got the... Uh, you know the secret tomb that we found earlier, guys? We can now go into the secret tomb. I can climb this. Here we go. We can actually just fucking monkey our way about. Roth just imagine Lara jumped up like this, threw herself into like being able to climb up with the ice axe and then missed, and then in front of Roth she just falls to her death and breaks her neck. And Roth's just like, oh fuck dude. I shouldn't have told her, she was too young. I thought she could handle it, but she clearly can't. Climbing up the rock walls in this game is fine, I guess. We just don't want to do it all the time. I think we can jump sideways here. Is that what's going on? Yeah. Very cool. Yo, the bottomy. What's up? Let me catch these comments just now, guys. Two seconds. Okay, I don't know. Am I supposed to be going into the secret tomb? No. The game wants me to go higher and higher, but we're obviously going to go down to the secret tomb first. Because we're going to go and get a bunch of XP and hopefully a bunch of salvage and shit. Uh, I've been lying under a wet towel most of the day. <laughs> Srenny, is that why you negated having food earlier? Why Why did that happen? Srenny, you weren't here earlier, but Mrs. Wolfie gave away the last of our milk to a neighbour. So I can't even have my midnight cornflakes. What am I going to fucking do? Lobotomy, you kindly said, uh, I'm pretty happy. Okay, that's a good start. This co-worker I had a pretty huge crush on promised me on our last day of work that we'd hang out. Okay, this is looking good. I like this. So there's a sexy co-worker and you've got a huge crush on them. Promised me on our last day of work that we'd hang out when I messaged her... Oh, a hot woman. Excellent. Even, be it's even better. Okay. When I messaged her today, asked if we would do the hangout, she answered immediately. She was waiting. Okay, okay. Then we had an hour-long phone call 
We're going on a walk and I'm buying us dinner. She's picking me up and I crash on her for a while, although it won't go past flirting. But we're in the same workplace. Lobotomy, that's awesome. Fuck yeah, dude. Excellent. Are you guys going out for dinner tonight? Are you, gonna, are you guys going out for dinner tonight? Oh, hell yeah, dude. She even said lobotomy. I was planning on messaging you. Yeah, dude, that's great. <laughs> Oh, no, on Thursday after our walk. Okay, so it's on Thursday you guys are going out a walk. Did you say that? You maybe said that and I missed it, sorry. Gajin says, going to take a little nap, but I'll be back later, though. All right, Gajin. Whipper Trooper, have a good one. I see you're living your best life. <laughs> well, that's promising. It's the only thing that's been giving me pox relief, yeah. Actually, Serenity, now that you mention that, does sound like a good strat. I just imagine you, Serenity, just like... I imagine that if like one of your friends came round and they just chapped the door and then let themselves in, it's just you lying on the coffee table. Just under a soaking wet towel, just arms stuck out of either side of the coffee table. Come in! Come in, make yourself a coffee! Uh, I'm so giddy, my big gay crush. That's excellent though, lobotomy, I'm delighted. Go you! Hells to the motherfucking yeah. And do you know what, lobotomy, right? I'm going to say two things here that completely contradict each other. Okay, first of all, good on you. Uh, good on you for actually actually contacting the person because life's too short, right? This is phase one. Life's too short and I feel like there's a lot of people in the world who like each other but they never, they just assume that the other person's not interested, right? And so they just never connect. They never like hook up. They never meet up and then, you know, there's a lot of potential cool relationships that could maybe happen there. Um, that being said, the flip side of it, and this is from my point of view, is I probably would have been too scared to actually do it. So although I know my own advice of life's too short, just tell people, you know, how you feel. You don't want to do it all the time, by the way. You don't want to meet someone. And as you're shaking their hand, hi, I fancy you, it's, it's going to get awkward, right? But you got to do it tactic tactically and tactfully. But um, good on you for actually reaching out and messaging the person, because that, that takes a lot of, like... Uh, takes a lot of like courage I think it's a bit of a leap of faith you know when you try and you know when eventually when you confide in someone you are leaving yourself vulnerable there right it's like yo I kind of like you and I don't want to be weird and I don't know if you feel the same but if you wanted to you know maybe hang out and play games one time <laughs> you know you're, you're kind of allowing that that person then has the ball to shut you down if they decide to which is as, a, as human nature and as our instincts, it's always like you never want to be put in that position. A lot of people don't give other people that opportunity because they don't want other people to have that kind of social upper hand on them where it's like, nah, fuck off. You know, you're not good enough for me or whatever. So well done on actually taking the plunge and I think that you guys are going to get on like a house on fire. I hope you guys have a fantastic walk on Thursday and I hope that you guys have a nice dinner as well. You can tell us all about it when you get back. Unless you guys fight the whole time and then it's not good. But I don't think that'll happen. I have good vibes. Uh, let me see here. My friends have all gone AWOL, says SJ. Oh no, Srenny, tell me that's not true. They're all scared when you got spotty? Pretty much. Well, I mean, maybe, I don't know, if it's something, you know, if you've got something that's potentially contagious. I guess it kind of makes sense, but... Have you been getting support from the nurses, Serenity? You know, the nurses that have been coming in to change your dressings and things like that for your... from, your, like, your post-surgery. Do you not have, like, support from those guys? Thank God for us training. I'm not even gonna bother taking a skill. I don't... I can't be fucked. I had measles, not chicken pox as a kid. Lobotomy says, but I won't... Hold on, I was waiting for her to message me. But she flirts so hard with me in the classroom and I was like, heck it, I'm messaging her. <laughs> but I won't do anything more than flirt or do pseudo dates because we work together. It only took me three years. That's still pretty good though. I usually confide but my work life. Yeah, you got you obviously there's an element to professionalism in there as well where you don't want to like disrupt the flow of good stuff because it sounds like you're good at your job. Lobotomy and obviously you want to hang on to that, which makes a lot of sense. Um but I mean, if if you guys are good together and you's, you seem like you have a lot of synergy, then why not, you know? The thing is, you work to live sometimes, not live to work, and if there's something good there, potentially, that might make you happy. What's happening here? How does this work? Is that just stuck there? 
So this is uh, back to Tomb Raider for a quick second. This is actually a, a secret area. So you don't actually have to do this. You can completely ignore it if you want to, but normally there's benefits to, to doing these. Okay, I need to get up there. But it looks like there's too many rocks here. You see these rocks? They need to be set on fire. If I can set this on fire, it won't weigh as much, so I can actually jump across. Where am I going to get fire from, though? That's the question. It was fire at the entrance, but it was through the waterfall, which is no good. Is there fire in here somewhere? There's candles. There's a zip plane. I can't get my fire through the waterfall. This is what I need here. But this is going to go out, right? Hmm. What's the planio? Maybe it, this is to do with. Hmm. Can I shoot these things? No, you definitely have to set them on fire. Oh, there's the torch there. I'm such a dumbass. We overcomplicated it, as we tend to do. I'll come over. I doubt I'll catch it a fourth time. You can't have... You, well, what me? You haven't had chicken pox three times. You haven't had chicken pox three times. No, you haven't. That's not possible. <laughs> what, do, what do you mean? I have a shit in a minute. I don't know if that's how it works. I mean, I guess. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Right, let's try this again. Push this off the edge. Now we can get up to the rock wall here. Hell yeah. S uh, nope, my nurse has stopped coming. I've been doing my own dressings, okay. <laughs> Uh, are the nurses just, have they, do they feel like you can look after yourself on your own now or something, SJ? Why are the nurses not coming around anymore? Are you just kind of, because your wound's getting better, they're... Incredible. Here we go. What are we getting for our secrets? Um... Oh, even if she, uh, she and I don't work out, she and I have a great friendship. That's good. She's planning on leaving the program soon, so we'll see. Fingers crossed, Lobot Mrs. Maester. Hell yeah, yeah, go you. Hmm. The aesthetics in this one, I want to... Oh, the aesthetics in this one I want to have for my bedroom decor. Skulls and things folks have to jump over. That's going to be interesting for when your colleague comes to visit you. Oh, hi, Lebom. It's nice to see you. Yeah, you did really well when you were teaching the kids in the classroom the other day. Why is there a giant dead body hanging above your mantelpiece? Oh, you know. The aesthetics. I like the way the sun hits the skull when, the, when it comes in through my front living room window on a Tuesday. Thank you, I appreciate it. No, go you. I caught it three times as a child over the span of four years. What the hell? What kind of rare chicken pox did they have in your area when you were younger? What the fuck? Always have room for a little more love in the world, says SJ. Yes, the hole's small enough for me to handle. Okay, there was a couple of jokes that could have been made there, but we're not going to make any. Let's see what's in our giant treasure chest. Dude, is that a copy of Pokemon Red? Skill point, Tomb of the Unworthy. We get 250 salvage and a skill point. Uh, Mountain Village relic map found as well. Excellent. Very cool. Looks like there's actually a treasure right at the end of this as well, which is bizarre. I must have missed that. There's something on the ground here. Oh no, there's the tomb entrance, I guess. Is it? Sure. Can I zoom out? Oh god. The zoom in and the zoom out needs to be... There needs to be a click in between for the zooms, I think. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Woo! We did it. We did it. We did it. Yay. 
I don't think I want to take that campfire back. I think I'm just going to light my torch here. And I think we just walk our way through. Tell me I can't get attacked by the dog again. I'm already... I already have the skill decor in my room. I don't have the Zoom meetings in my room for a reason. I see. Yeah. No, that would, uh, that would be a bit confusing and alarming. Uh, I've got a question, Miss Lobotomy, please. What is it, Jonathan? What are you asking? Is this about maths? No, I just want to know why there's a zombie behind you. Oh, don't mind that. That just goes with the furniture. Yeah, I can see it already. Brilliant. Um, Alright, I think we're going up, up and away. Was there... Yeah, okay, so that's higher up. Looks like there's a bunch of things dotted about down there at the camp that we could have maybe checked out, but... Fuck it, dude. Wait, was there something in the... Oh my god, was there something else in the cave? The fuck? Oh no, that little tiny area there's the cave. It's the bit above... Up there. Okay, yeah. Right, we're climbing. Let's go. I have to go look for food before my stomach digests itself. Yes, yeah, Renny, can you find me something too, please? Uh, just whatever, just throw me on a chicken Kiev or something. A couple of smiley faces, I'll do. Maybe some chicken chicken drumsticks or something, I don't mind. Maybe some peas, sweet corn. Hey, you find anything? Oh no. no nothing. What? Nothing. There's no one up here. They never make it up this far. That's what she said. Should we head back up to the bunker? Do you guys think we should just gun them down now, or should we uh, sneak attack some of these fools? Stay alert. Let's move inside. Yeah, let's let's move inside, bro. This a good idea. We got some time. I just sneak attack this guy. Damn it! What? I don't know how this guy saw me. Maybe because I ran up to his window and screamed, Hey, I'm a tree. <laughs> Tactics and stealth, my only weakness. What have we got in here? Anything exciting? Better loot this guy, get this. I have spoken. Well, I'm not reading any of that shite. Who cares? Alright, open this. Looks like there's a couple of jumping things we can do. A couple of jumpy jumpies. Well, that went swimmingly. Ooh, a chicken. Is that a chicken? Just gonna quickly grab this. Acquire this. Reload the pistol. Okay. Maybe I will start shooting people with my pistol, I don't know. It is oddly satisfying. Right. I want to set fire to that. I wonder if I can do it. Can I jump over here? I need like a little fire torch to open that, but I don't know how to. Also seems like there's something up here. Alright. Can I jump onto this? Okay, uh, there's a Buddha shrine. Yeah, I really need like some sort of fire torch. Is there something in the area? A kind of mortar and pestle. Uh Same, I forgot to eat for a long while. Um I could eat something my uh, myself, but I have cheese and beans, but no bread. Oh no. Mister, have you tried just cooking it all on top of your hand and putting that in the oven? Just put the, the cheese on your hand, then put the beans on your hand, then put your hand in the micro. Sounds like an efficient, handy uh, recipe. Don't actually do that, you'll die. I can't light this without a fire, but there has to be one... Oh, there it is, there, I can see it. Excellent. Come here. We're gonna go light the Buddha statue, which is probably immediately gonna go out in the rain, but I'm sure Buddha will appreciate it nonetheless. Alright, 
You guys are all going for food, man. I feel like I want food. And I'm not just saying that because you guys are making food now. Although that might be a part of it. There we go, Buddha. It's not even Buddha. Why? This is an evil demon. Why did I think that was Buddha? Now Buddha's gonna fucking hate me. Okay, I'm gonna drop down here. Activate this. We're doing alright. We're making alright progress. Getting our salvage. Not very much though. Alright, we're climbing up to the top and we're going up the rock wall. We've collected a lot of extra stuff in this area. I wonder if there's anything on that little ledge. Probably not. Oh. Okay. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. Okay. We go over here. Another one of these weird doors that I think you can uh, connect your rope to later. Don't have that technique at the moment though, so we gotta ignore all of that. There we go. This bridge definitely won't collapse. Wow, that was uh, convenient timing. Lara, are you there? <gasps> Reyes. Did you find Sam? What a cool name that is, trail. by the way. Reyes. I, I wish that was my second name. Any tips? Hey, Lara. You're gonna need to find the communications console. It'll look like a bunch of old switchboards. Okay. I'll let you know when I find it. Why am I... This is gonna be like a... A fighting arena, I'm pretty sure. I think there's gonna be bad guys down here. Oh my lord, dude. Can yeah, I just shoot him with a mol Molotov? Why don't you? I feel like I need a slow mo thing. Oh my god, dude. I'm missing so many shots, it's actually hurting me. That definitely should have killed you. That was 100% a headshot. Hold on. I'll shoot you now. So. There's an arrow in your butt. Shrek. That was so bad. I kind of thought that shooting the little lantern here was going to, like, get me some action, but... Guess not. Guess I'm just bad. Can we light our fire on this? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I need like a slow mo. I think for for the the bow and arrow. I don't know why. I don't know why my shooting's so bad in this game. I feel like I use I use the bow and arrow in Warframe a lot, and I know that's an entirely separate game. But I feel like there shouldn't be too much of a difference. It might just be that the sensitivity is absurdly high, even though I've turned it down to like ten percent. Oh, what could go wrong here? Got a newbie campsite here. Oh look at her, she's chatting in me, lamb. If we were going up the up the to look for the uh If we were gonna look for the communication tower, why didn't we take Roth's jacket? I know he kinda needs it and he's dying, but like aren't we the only hope for survival? I'm telling you, Reyes, it's mechanical, not an electrical problem. Now, Alex. You guys have made me hungry. Talking about Chick-fil-A and stuff earlier as well. Now I feel like I actually need snacks. God damn it, chat. That's your fault. I blame you. Oh, hello. And I have no hope. I'd have to put something in the oven. It's half one already. It's my daughter. Fourteen years old. Older than you'll ever be. Uh oh. She must must get that from her father. Don't give him the attention. And yeah. I'll take a look at this. That's awkward. So I was on the walk right, doing a oh, small midnight no. mission. Hey, Grim, time to button down the hatches. I'd be right with you. So I was on the lock right, and this thing comes looming at me, looming out of the water was. So I give it a real Glasgow kiss, you know. <laughs> Get shot a trouble nine times out of ten, that does. <laughs> Took me a week to sleep that night off. And I've not touched a drop since. I think what so what the know. guy is, uh, the old, old man's talking about here is uh, headbutting the Loch Ness Monster. Which is great writing, actually. Oh. 
That's awkward. All right. Can we take B roll, please? Thank you. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take three, <coughs> and action. Okay. Now take a firm grip and then slice him down the belly like this. Yeah, you got. Cut, Walt. Cut, cut, cut. Cut. This guy's a pain. Coming back. Uh, I'll go get him. Well, for now, Doc, yeah. Can't fill it a fish, dude. Yeah. It's just a fish. It's fine. <laughs> this guy seems like he's a bit of a drama queen. This damned reality TV business. I'm, I'm meant to be bringing culture to the people, Sam, not dinner. Uh, no offense, Jonah. The audience demands content, Dr. Whitman. You know that. So until we find the Lost Kingdom, we need footage like this. Come on, let's just take it from the top, okay? Just cut the fish out, fucking Why Dr. Whitman. Like Gordon Ramsay in editing. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take four. Four action. takes. Okay, now take a firm grip. And then slice him down the belly. Like that. I've studied them so much, I can see charts on the back of my eyelids. But if I'm not right about Yamatai being in the Dragon's Triangle... I remember when you found that one of your father's digs. You ran up and showed it to me dressed in your penguin pajamas. <laughs> I was five <laughs> years old, it was my first find. Yeah. You've got great instincts, girl. You just have to trust them. Mm. That's what my father used to say. Penguin pajamas, though. Now, there was a man that ran on instinct. For better or worse. He would have been so proud of you, Lara. We're getting closer to the storm. Well, whatever's coming, we'll get through it, eh? <laughs> Alright, nice little home movie there. Bit of flavour for the characters and the friendships. Okay, Lara. Pull yourself together. All right. They're counting on you. Got a lot of uh, stuff to spend here. Let's have a look and see what our options are. So it says, right, stick some frozen pasta in a pan with some veggies and bacon. Let's see if it's edible in 15 minutes. I think I'm gonna do the same, honestly. Oh, we've got brawler upgrades. Here we go. Uh, withstand more punishment in combat and live to fight another day. Dirty tricks cover. Use dirt and rocks behind your enemies and leave them vulnerable to your attacks. Oh, to blind enemies, not behind. I'm gonna take this one, pain tolerance. We want that for sure. I want to take more damage before dying so we can actually survive longer. I think that's an absolute must. Not going to be good at when we're like hunting and stuff, but... I don't think I care about having more bow time. What else have we got here? We've got most of these. We could take animal instincts. I don't think that's bad. Maybe we could hang on to these points and spend them later, but... I think the sooner we get some of these, the better. It'll allow us to mess around with some of the secret challenges and stuff in the game. Okay, let's have a look. Upgrades. What we got here? So we could go for another upgrade on our bow, or we could start having a look at our pistol, or we could just sit on all of our scrap and just save it. Oh, actually our bow, we've done both sides. I'm such a fool. I guess the only thing to upgrade then is the pistol. It says 20%, but it means 20% at present, or oh, sorry, in the long run. It's kind of weird. Um, allows, no, I don't really want burst fire. Don't want more magazines. I'll take extra accuracy, I think. I don't give a fuck about that. We're gonna take this. Might actually allow us to fucking hit some shots once in a blue moon. Delivers more accuracy for increased damage again. Do we want to upgrade our pistol twice? I don't know. I think we just hang on to our, our points, our gear. We've got a lot at this point, because we went and did the challenge to him and things like that, so we're pretty comfortable. What else have we got here? I don't want to spend too much, because I know later on... Sometime. Okay. Later on in the game, we're gonna find a bunch of uh, other weapons. So hanging on to the scraps now and saving for the future is not necessarily a bad idea. Looks like we got most of the stuff here. Don't know how much we care about completing each each area 100%. I might actually run and quickly stick food in the uh, in the oven myself, guys. You know that. Man, this bad guy's coming already. 
I don't know if they follow me all the way along here or not. I think we just pause and chill here. I'm stuck in Mass Effect 2, says Cactuar. What bit you stuck at, Cactuar? Been stuck on a bit now for 20 minutes. That sounds like absolute pain. Hey, get that damn gun off me. Right, let's see if we can butt our way through this little tiny bit and find a more calm spot to eat and relax in, guys. The oven's going to be taking some time, so I say we just... Uh, Dude, I missed that guy so many fucking times. It's not even funny. So, guys behind me, though, just to get one. Right? I can't. I don't think I've got a melee button yet. I got a retreat here, we're gonna go. I'm gonna bait these guys into the uh, into the tunnel and then fight them here and then go back in. Jesus Christ. This game's hard. Where did you come from, bro? No, dude. Oh, good night. Dude, I am actually the worst Tomb Raider player. My shooting in this game is absurdly bad, like the worst that it's... I've never seen my shooting this bad in any video game ever. I'm not just saying that. Okay, let's try and kill the Gatling gun. Come back for the dead people in a minute. Getting wrecked by this thing. I feel like I need a shotgun or something, you know that? It's that fight in the segment over. There's so much to collect though. I'm gonna go back down for that in a minute. Um, in a bit in one of the DLCs, I keep dying over and over. Oh no, Cactuar, no. Whose DLC is it, Cactuar? It's not Zaid, is it? I can't remember. Oh, maybe you're doing the Liana bit? Oh, these boys are right here. Are they gonna come find me or? I wonder if I can shoot them through one of the holes. Oh, treasure. An Edo period coin. It's the arrive the arrival one, okay. We did actually have a bad drama with the rival to me. Who the fuck am I getting sh- Oh, I got him. Headshot. I'm so bad at this game, you know that? Oh, we're gonna be on the- are we gonna be on the minigun? Nice shit, that. Where was the minigun? Oh, is it this thing? Oh, but it switched off. I gotta get out of here. I wanna go back down and loot all those corpses for all the salvage that I missed, potentially. Like, I, I, should, I should kill the guy before I move on, but then it, there might be like a... One, he's in an awkward spot, and two, there might be like an advancement of the story here. Let's just uh, quickly loot some of these guys. I'm 90% sure you're supposed to creep your way through this area, but again, stealth seems to be the complete opposite of what I'm about right now. Getting a lot of salvage from the corpses, I feel like this is actually worth... I wonder if hard mode actually changes how much salvage you get from the, the bodies. Probably does. Not sure you did it on stream? We did a rival on stream, Kagwar, we did. We did it before we went to the final mission because we needed the uh, we needed Miranda to be uh, friendly with us. We we're trying to get as much Paragon points as possible, and I'm pretty sure we did a rival. 
we did it before the final mission though, which was a bit back to front inside out, but we were kind of desperate, so we didn't really have a choice. Uh, arrivals where you crash the meteoroid thing into the mass relay, right? Into one of the relays at the end. It's like driving through space and it's like, it's a little asteroid and you crash it in. It's got all the... You get knocked out and then you wake up and then the woman's trying to bring the reapers through. Check doesn't guard, die to rats or do stealth. Thank you, Serenity. That is absolutely 100% fact. What have we got here? Some freebies. Examine. Oh, and a GPS cache. Nice. Sweet. Yeah, I never die to the rats. Never, ever. Alright, we're actually at the radio tower, I think. Oh no, there it is there. We need to climb up that. That's a really cinematic moment in the game, which is pretty cool. Oh. Surprised that didn't kill me. Okay. It's freezing. We never die. Oh, we got a book here. Well, all the guards have shields, right? And guess who is playing a pure biotic with no way to remove shields? Me, and I have zero teammates. Oh no, Kaitar, that sounds like pain. That sounds like pain and agony. Yeah, the shields in this effect were a bit obnoxious sometimes. I guess as a biotic, it's like your worst, your worst nemesis. Yeah. We just kind of uh, meathead our way through everything in the game, which we were able to do because we were exclusively soldier, but... We would have definitely struggled otherwise. No, Can I kill this rat? Did that explode? Get over here. There must be a way to cancel arrows. I don't think he could see me. I think I was hidden behind the doorway. It was kind of weird. Dude, imagine there being a toilet in a place like this. That would be absolutely disgusting. Don't think I could handle that. Okay, that's timer number one. That means the food needs to go in the oven. I'll pause the game because you guys were nervous recently. When I didn't pause the game when I went to do stuff, you guys were like, Jack, you never pause the game and it gives me the fear. Just a little exploding. I don't know how the exploding arrow went kaboom, but it worked. Fuck it, so I'm not complaining, man. Let me think about this, guys, because there's maths that Jack needs to do, and Jack's not very good at maths. Let's find out. So, in 12, let's say 13 minutes' time, we'll put the rolls in, and then I'll put the peas in after. Might even put the rolls and the peas in at the same time if I'm feeling particularly rambunctious, but I feel like that might be a mistake. My peas would probably get fucked. Alright, no, that's fine. Okay, 13 minutes, boys. 13 minutes. Yeah, I wonder if I can connect my phone. I wonder if I'm live streaming on Twitch. I wonder if I can connect my phone and live stream as well. And overwrite. That would be so sick. I'd like to take you guys in a little stream to the kitchen. You can't fuck peas. No, you can. Trust me. I know it sounds weird, but you can. I've got the processed ones ready, so they're like big juicy peas. And uh, if you leave them in the pot too long when they're boiling... You're not supposed to boil them, I don't think. But if you leave them in the pot too long, then they kind of just disintegrate and then fall apart and then they stink. Oh, what have we got here? Oh, I need to burn that. Maybe I'm the only person to ever fuck up peas, I'm not sure. Here we go, that's what we want. Burn, can you? Lollipop, lollipop, lollipop. We're gonna burn these. Just for the sake of it. Not exactly what I would be prioritizing in <laughs> non-believer. Not exactly what I'd be prioritizing as Lara, but I mean, you know. 
She's doing whatever she wants, I guess. That guy got absolutely fucking two tapped. That guy got fucking destroyed. Is that su I guess that's supposed to be a jump scare. I don't know why that man was hiding in the ventilation shaft, but he was. <laughs> he must have heard the commotion earlier with the exploding barrel and thought, yeah, I'm gonna get this bitch. What he should have done is waited for her to jump down like this. He could have waited right there in the corner so that when she creeped through, he could have just fucking popped her in the back. But he fucking threw. No one leaves. I got a little lantern here. Can no I throw this? Leaves. Why, why, why is the game giving me lanterns here? Don't think that's supposed to happen. <clears throat> so I'm climbing up and going through there. Why is the game giving me all these? Can I throw it up and through? <laughs> I don't know why the lanterns are here. Is there something in this room? Why, why would the... I have no idea why the game would give me these. Fuck it. Don't even think it's relevant. I'm coming through! It's me, you boy! Okay. That's the door we looked through earlier that we can get through, I guess. Okay. Chrono! Chrono, what's up? Chrono Monarch. Whoa, you're pretty CEO uh, with figuring out ways to kill Lana Croft. That's why I do this, my guy. Oh no, I'm dying, I'm suffocating. Okay. I don't know if that's the way I'm supposed to go, is it? Chrono Monarch, how are you doing this fine day, my friend? The glass looks weak, I guess that's what the lanterns are for then. Fucking yeet! Wait a minute. This is not what we were supposed to be doing. Oh, is it the glass in that room? Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold. You sound experienced in this type of thing. One ways to figure out to kill Lara Croft. What am I doing here? Can I get through this door? Dude, I don't know where to go. Can you use your spidey sense? No, I think that's the wrong character buckets. I can use my tomb sense. Oh, you mean like this, literally like this. She said the glass looks weak, but I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to break the glass. I guess, oh, we maybe we throw it through now. Literally what we were doing a minute ago, right? But now we go, yeet. Hey, Got him. Tom, what's up, man? This guy got wrecked. We raiding some tombs? We are, uh, not at the moment, but we have raided tombs earlier today and we will be raiding tombs later. This is this area. Alright, brilliant. Is this guy dead? Go to hell. Oof. There's a little thing here we need to burn. Where am I going to get my... I've to have to go all the way back down to that area to get the... I say all the way back down, it's not actually that bad. I can quickly grab this from down here. <clears throat> Tom, how you doing tonight, man? What's up? And Chrono as well, I think you're new, Chrono. I don't think I've seen you before, if you're still here. Chrono Monarch, Chrono Monarch. He's a monarch of the Chrono. I wonder if he's called Chrono Monarch after the hit series Chrono Shift, which I don't actually think was a series, I don't know why I said that. Was Chrono Shift to see these guys, or was that a standalone game? Hmm. Oh, I'm glad we went back and got the banner. Oh! A dummy gun! It's not really, but... Fire plus gas. Sounds like Maester Mixer after he's eaten all his beans. Okay, get some ammo here. A book on drugs. Just a local copy of Fifty Shades of Grey. Okay, mount GPS. All right, we got machine gun. Oh my god! Did 
that was terrible. What the fuck? You can kind of tap, which is kind of nice. Quite easily, but you kind of have to be close, I think. I did a terrible job in the slow mo of actually gunning down enough of these guys. Okay. We're getting extra XP from the headshots, so that's pretty good. Started slapping the sides of my screen because the vision went fuzzy. Could be named after the shopkeeper of Digimon World. Don't speak the shopkeeper from Digimon World, Mr. Mixter, you know this. We never say Monochromon's name. Damn, I just said it. Right, got a machine gun. What are we gonna upgrade here? Longer magazine. Uh, steady the weapon while firing. Ooh, a muzzle break. Reducing the recoil. Two magazines taped together for faster reload. Nothing to do with the, the actual damage though, which is kind of a shame. I think we'll steady the weapon while firing. I'll do. And I could also upgrade it again if I wanted to. For reduced bullet recon, that would be alright. Let's uh, chill there for a second, I think that's fine. Hmm. Never said it. Listen, don't you ever mention that wretched piece of filth in my chat, Meister Mixer. <laughs> Monochromon can suck a fat dick. You know this. I know this. We got here more bullets. Give me that. All right. Well, we pretty much rinsed these boys. I have no idea how all of these men struggled to kill Lara Croft as she came in there, blinded by the spotlight. Not one of them shot her. Not a single one of these boys managed to cap her. Father Matthias will set us free. Not at all. Me. From what? This Father Matthias is a dick. Wait, Matthias is the guy we met at the uh, the campsite, right? Can I go back the way? There we go. Should be able to go back and get another uh, fire torch here. How far back do we have to go for this? You'd think you would have given me another one since all the way back here. Maybe there was and I haven't seen it, but I think this is the only torch I've seen. Despite the fact that there's fire everywhere on the floor. I think this is the one that's guaranteed. I hope it doesn't go out by the time I get back there. There might be a range on some of these. If you wonder why I constantly make Lara become a small monkey as she travels like this, it's pretty much because it's much faster, I feel, than running. I don't actually know if it is, but it certainly feels faster. Okay, so we'll burn this for some XP. That's 4 out of 5, I think. 3 out of 5, okay. There must be more around about, but we'll just keep going. Pretty sure my alarm is going to go off soon for the other. That guy got low real fast. Did you guys see him do the how low can you go? That was so quick. I love games like this when if... Oh, that was a banner. I hope I don't miss that. It was right next to me as you went in the door. You fucking filthy bastard game, I swear. If this, if this kicks me out... Oh, no, that's not good. If we get kicked out of this room before I can explode it, I'm going to be raging. There are arrows on the floor, though. Alex, are you there? Three minutes for your alarm. Yeah. Oh, you're right, Meister. The console's a wreck. Damn it. Meister Mixer says, can I have a port -a potty for 500 bits? I can give you a shout-out and a thank you for 500 bits, Meister, but I don't have any port -a potties no. Okay. You're gonna have to go that to the woods for that, mate. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, you're gonna have to find it first. <laughs> On those old towers, they installed those panels high up. Oh, we're going up there. Way, Way high. high up. Climbing again. Your favorite. Great. Yeah, you're gonna be great, Lara. Don't worry about it. You're gonna be fine. Don't be dramatic. Oh, the game put my torch out. You son of a bitch. I can't go back either. 
You fucker. Oh, you, I can go back. Okay, and there's a there's a battle right here. That's good. I thought the game had done me absolute filth there, but we're okay. Saved. Can we uh, set this on fire, Lana? Thank you. What we're going to do over the next couple minutes, I'm not sure, though. Oh, I'll take that. I think those journals do give you XP. I keep picking them up, but honestly, I'm not really bothered about them. Okay. Uh-oh. That's hot, don't touch it. Attention, I'm trying to find my... Alright guys, we need to put the peas on, okay? Woo! Kick it! Hey, we made it. And it's suddenly morning again. I guess we made it through the night. Snow on the desert island is a bit confusing. May explain why she's been so cold though. Alright, campsite, perfect timing. Right, let me grab my uh let me grab my tub and more ammo capacity is definitely not a bad idea because then I can stack more assault rifle and pistol ammo and stuff, so. Alright. We got a bad platform in. Should be okay. Oh, he's getting, he's getting booted. That was such a throw. That was such a fucking throw, dude. Damn, how many are there? These guys did. What are they doing? Who rushes someone with a pistol when you've got an ice axe? You gotta plan that out correctly, dude. What are you doing? What a fucking maniac. Is there any other areas to explore here? I don't think so. Alright, looks like we're gonna be rooting, tooting, and shooting. Dude, this pistol is insanely accurate now that we put those upgrades on it. Holy fuck. What a difference. Oh my god, bro. No, don't do it. Okay, I missed the first two, but we got on with the third one. Holy shit. I'm, I'm sitting here all confident, like, who the fuck rushes someone with a pistol? Doesn't matter when the, pest the pistol wielder sucks a dick. I'm so sorry. RIP, boys. We do have a decent amount of assault rifle left, but I think I want to kind of keep that for when the enemies get close or when we're really struggling. We should just keep pistol weapon these guys. I've got plenty of ammo. Probably even a little bit too much. Shot that guy in the throat. I'm so bad at this. Shot in the ass. <laughs> Alright, we got a headshot in that guy. This dude's still alive, I think. Did he die to a bullet in the ass? I thought he died to a bullet in the ass, but we're okay. Everything's alright. <laughs> Stone! Stonebird, welcome back, man. Wait, who gifted me a sub? I wasn't there. I'll tell you right now, Stonebird. I hope my game doesn't crash, but it should be okay. Stonebird. And Drofig as well! Wait, Drofig came back! Yo, my man, there he is! Drofig, what's up, dude? Thank you for the raid, how's things? Rofig, have you been playing League of Legends? Please tell me no. I'll tell you who gifted you a sub um, right now. So Lobotomy Feel actually gifted a sub to Drofig two days ago. Antelord Quambly. Our secret mod. Stonebird, you received a gifted sub probably from Dieselkid? Let me just check. Um, Nerdurer's got a gifted sub. Dixie got a gifted sub. Original Moves. Firefly. Uh, Cody gifted five, but not to you. I think it was Diesel Kid. Let's see. 
Shadow Knight, Twinkie, Jordy, Cookie Monster, Liam. I actually can't see. Stonebird, if you go into your notifications on Twitch, there should be somewhere, somewhere in the game, right? Uh, or sorry, in your application on Twitch, there should be a little notification bell. If you click that, it'll have a list of anything exciting that has happened to your account, and if you've been gifted a sub, it'll appear in there. Yeah, you can check your notifications, yeah, just like what Bucket said, actually. Yeah, Bucket's is just a little second ahead of me. That's because he's in Australia, he gets an advantage, he's more Eastern. But yeah, it'll tell you in there, man. Welcome back to the Wolfpack, Stonebird. It's great to have you here. And Drofig, thanks for the host. Nope, I ran around in circles lost playing Code Vein. Oh my god, yeah, of course, you told me you were playing Code Vein, Drofig. You were telling me a bit about your build and how you were just getting started. How's that going for you? I gotta ask. I, I, I have to ask, Drofig. Have you fought against the... I don't want to ask too many questions in case I spoil, but this is like one of the early bosses. Over the years, and was definitely one of the first challenges I came across. Have you fought against the butterfly yet, Drofig? Code Vein's kind of like Dark Souls in the sense that they don't really fucking tell you exactly where to go at all times. Sometimes you have to wander around and then you'll find this tiny path that you've never seen before. You could have you could have run through an area like three times and then there's this tiny drop down ledge that has been keeping everything hidden from you. That's got to be an achievement. Is he, is he going to jump? Oh, he's got it. Right there. Dude, come on. Peek me! Pull me, come. I'm so trash. I think that guy's still alive. I don't think I actually killed him. Is this motherfucker the final boss? Holy shit! Okay. Oh no, this is the final boss. Just as my food came out of the oven. I'm actually an idiot. It was gifted like 15 days ago and I only noticed now. That's alright, man. We got a lot of gifted subs. I'm really lucky that way. We're lucky as a community. Right, hold on guys. Let me fight this guy. I need to... No, I got you. against this crazy motherfucker. Can we beat him out? What's the play here? Is there explosives? Maybe I can shoot him enough and he'll stop carrying. Doesn't look like it's working. Let's see if we can deal with this. I think I have to try and shoot his head or something. There's not really a lot of room for error here. Unless I try and bait him. One of two both Has the audio reset and got loud again? Pistol bullets. Weapon parts significantly upgrade your weapon. Search salvage crates and loot bodies to find more. I don't know if that if the volume got pumped up there or not. Okay. Do I have any? Where's my button? No. I got a bunch of machine gun ammo. Wait, how the fuck does this work? How, can, how do you, Okay, so four is right. What was that? Three? Two. One. Two. And three. And four? Oh, that's such a back to front way of doing things. I don't know why they don't just let you hold that and then, like, click. Okay, four is the machine gun. I, I don't know what the order and sequence is there, but. It's whatever. I think I can go back up there if I want. Okay. Um, 
Jesse, hello, welcome back. What's up? Hmm. I only go on dates when I'm fully comfortable with someone and we can go in into hardcore combos. Do you mean like how many skills each person has in their bedroom, Lobotomy, or like current big gay crush. <laughs> I've known and worked with her for coming on four years. She and I have gone through a lot and we just naturally get along. But it took a year or two to get that camaraderie. Yeah, that's okay though. That seems normal. I think most relationships do develop best over a bunch of, you know, over time, right? <clears throat> Have you checked to see if the big gay crush is actually gay, Lobotomy Fail? That could be disappointment if not. Is that is that something that's came up in conversation before? It isn't confidence, I'm hella awkward and shy and insecure, but I, but I hate it by talking. The likeable or dorkly endearing is what uh, past folks have said most, uh, have said most family, friends and romantic. Okay. That's good. That's good, Lobotomy. I think that's a good angle. I, I think there's a lot of people who are going to like that kind of personality, so you're definitely doing fine. Jesse, how was your day? How was things? A little bumpy, there may have been tears, but the journey led me back here in the end. Was the travel safe at Jesse? Jesse, wait, were you actually having a teary journey or is that just... Wait a minute. Zidane's here as well. Hey Zidane, what's up man? Zidane, Zidane, it's nice to see you. How's things? I haven't spoken to you in a while. Zidane, it's been far too long. Oh sweet prince. What's been happening with you? Uh, oh, we can open the locker here. She's made it abundantly clear she has dated other, uh, she has dated other guilds and she knows I'm by so that works. I deal. Lobotomy, what happens if you are on a date and it and she goes in for the kill? What what happens if she if you guys are on a date and she goes in for the smoochy smoochy? Are you gonna be able to handle that? Are you prepared? Oh my god, we're getting ahead of ourselves, sorry. You guys, you're Jack, you're like Jack, simmer down, calm down Jack. We're just, we're just basically getting going with this train. It's just leaving the station, dude, what you on? Sorry, sorry. I need to calm down. Something with my PC, says Zidane. Zidane, you beautiful human. Zidane, how has life been? Can I... I don't have fire. Is there fire here? I can sense fire. Aha! Zedin grind on me. There we go. I love near music so much. Near music is great, says Valkyrie. That's true. <clears throat> half a meme, half true. Friend was playing near and the music still makes me cry, so there's definitely tears. Jesse, that's so fucking cool. Why did I love it? Was it near automata? Wait, should I have, guys? Should I have cried during near automata? The music in near is really good. Can confirm. Been there. We have done similar things, but I've not played the new near, as in the old near. They got redone. I'm not. I'm not girl, non-binary, but assigned female at birth, and is all good. Wait, was that point? Wait, was that me? Wait, Lobotomy, did I say that? I don't even know what I said, I'm sorry. I'm a fucking delight. I don't understand how I'm still single. Butler doesn't count before you say anything. What are you talking about? Of course the butler counts Serenity. Serenity, listen. I've told you already, when you and the butler get married, I'm bringing a kill. Your music is bomb. If she does, I will kiss back and then start the combo about what... That means for our work interaction, straight down to business. Straight down to business, oh, Lobotomy, yeah, okay. Are you gonna... Hmm. What would that mean? Wait, I'm getting ahead of myself again. Slow this down, chat. Stop it. Chat, get your head in the game. Get your, get your, get your, get your head in the game. I'm gonna take some more recoil. I'll do. Is there a pistol upgrade still available? Or did I take both of those? Yeah, dude. Okay, that'll do. Gitch, 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 gitch. SJ, we don't go outside. Of course we're single. Now, she was playing the first near last ending, and if you weren't too busy making memes, you'd have cried Kappa. I wasn't making too many memes during near. What me what memes? 
I don't think I made many. I don't think I made many. I don't think I made many memes during Nier, did I? I don't think that happened. <laughs> did that happen? I thought I was pretty well behaved during Nier. I put a lot of effort in Nier. I was well behaved, right? Oh. Okay. Here he goes. Does. I'm climbing up the ladder. I'm going up. Oh my god, it's fucking high up here. It's fucking cold. Uh, Lobotomy, we need to cut. Lobotomy, we need to come up with a name for your your new person that you're taking out on a date, or is, you know the date that you're going out with. I don't think we should keep calling it Big Gay Crush. Can we call that like Operation Antelope or something? What about what about Operation what about Operation Petite Gazelle? I mean, I really go outside and I've been taken for two years since Valkyrie, never call it over. <laughs> yeah, good stuff, Valkyrie. Valkyrie's a, a beacon of hope for all those uh, people looking for love. I like it. Introverts need love too. Still in a dream, snake eater. Oh, we're going up and up and up. We've only got half a ladder now. Come on, Lara, you got this. Nobody look at her ass, chat. We're focused on the top of the tower, nothing else. Don't look at Lara's butt cheeks. Don't look at her boobs either, for that matter. Come on, Lara, you got this. Come on. There we go. Okay, you have massive balls. I would not be still going up if I was you. Honestly, I think falling off this tower is probably a worse fate than staying on the island for the next 10 years and never being rescued. Just saying. Imagine she got up here and it wasn't turned on. Although I don't know where the electricity is coming from, this power in this fucking light bulb. Don't you dare drop that. Alex? Lara. I'm at the panel. Okay. The tower should boost the signal from the transmitter. Don't you dare. Okay. Alright, find the emergency channel. Get a clear signal on your radio before you broadcast the SOS. User has disconnected hey. from your channel. We got everything crossed for you down here, LC. Thank you. Tune the radio. This is going to be an absolute blast. Move the left or right to tune. Man's voice. You've. Uh, Switch the tuner. Hold the signal. We're doing it. You laughed during the most tragic scene of the game. I did not laugh. I did not laugh. <clears throat> I would never laugh during the death moments. Searching for you since the distress call from your vessel. Almost given up hope. So had we. Got your approximate position. We could sure use a visual. I'll figure something out. Be heading your way soon. Now. Laura Croft, you are my hero. Hey, you know, Ray has actually just cracked a smile. We know this is a fake right. moment. <clears throat> a fire. Fuel, flames. I can do that. Okay. You guys ready? We're going down. Look, I'm glad she hugs me. She knows I love hugs. And she's not big on physical affection. And while hugging, she told me, I'm making an exception. I know you love hugs. And I know you need it. Nice one, Lobotomy. <clears throat> Don't stray up from the path towards Jack Valkyrie. <clears throat> Introverts do be needing love, Cistrophic. Let me tell you the last time I had action. To be fair, Demi impedes it. 
Wait a minute, what's happening here? <coughs> but I am happy you found the person you have an interest in and wish you both the best. Hope it all goes well. Hey. I found her a while ago, says Lobotomy. Just juggling the work and crush vibes is hard. On that note, let's go. Woo! I would have definitely shared a couple of ankle bones. I don't think I would have travelled down. Did that wire snap? Oh my god, dude. I would not have done that. That is not... I mean, the momentum you would have built zooming down there would have been ridiculous. I feel like this is going to be a death trap as well. Fuel tanks. Okay. <clears throat> so we have to ignite these, I guess. Is there anything else kicking around uh, up here? Oh, don't get stuck here. Ooh, ammo. Please pick it up. Thank you. What else have we got? We got any secrets around here? Any secret treats? Any hidden treats? Dude, are we gonna get ambushed here? I feel like there's gonna be bad guys attacking me from this area. What's in the little bike shed? Is there anything in here? Okay, ammo that I can't pick up. I, is that a map? No. Oh. I have no idea what's happening. Fire striker. Okay. Jeez. This should do the trick. That's handy. We just found that, did we? E to light the torch. Ah, oh, that's gonna be so handy later on in the game. Okay, let's uh do whatever this is gonna do for us. Lara, I don't think you're thinking about the environment and, and, and doing what you're about to do. I feel like this is a bad mist. Oh god. Imagine she just set herself on fire and exploded. Wow. Sets the entire jungle on fire. Oh my god, dude, that was quick. No, don't get hit by a ball of lightning, please. Oh my god, dude. In Japanese, Wait a minute. That is some unfortunate luck, Paracroft. Oh my god, we're sliding. Oh god. I think we're alright. This fucking aeroplane is trying to fuck me though. Oh my lord. Dude. Lord, are you gonna be alright, bro? Oh my god. Slide. Okay. Oh my god, what just happened? I thought we were fine. And then I got pulled in the neck. Again. Don't be sorry, it never happened, chat. If you ask me about it again in the future, I'll deny it. Happy feet, one more combo. Okay, just for the record, we stand. We stay far to the right. Dude, I didn't even think I was close to that. Oh god, we're not gonna buy the spikes. I can't see. Oh god. It's fine, we're totally fine. Oh no, we're not totally fine. Lara, get the fuck out of the way. Jump, Lara, please. Not even a drop of sweat, baby. I don't know how someone can be so dirty beat up and destroyed from like a treacherous descent onto a barren island full of savage men and still look this good. Oh, he is fucking doomed. The pilot. I have to get to him. Well, I think it's safe to say that he's dead. The pilot's never alive. The pilot is never look at this, dude. They've got little huts. Of all the places you could build your fucking bungalow, dude, why would you build it there? Who builds these? Like, why would you build it up there? I mean, I know there's, like, security, but, like, aren't you scared this falls down in the night? This would certainly protect you from the wolves, but, I mean, what happens when the fucking the hurricane comes through? You're fucking doomed. What the hell? 
Alright, here we go. The trapeze! Oh wait, am I dying? Oh god, I think I'm dying. Oh Jesus. Okay, we're going full on Charlie tier. Oh, jump! Okay. No idea how we made that. It's gonna be okay, Lara Croft. You're gonna be fine. Oh, that was an early jump. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, we definitely magnetized onto that, but I'm not upset about it. I'm not upset. We're just destroying all these homes. All these homes that have existed here for thousands of millennia. We just come through and destroy the entire kingdom. We have a gun, we could have saved that man. Oh, you dumbass. You're wasting your ammo, bro. We have to bait this guy. Whoop! Now who's wasting their ammo, dumbass? Yeah, I went there. Okay. The pilot, I think he's turbo doomed. Oh, Jeff. This is for crashing the plane, Jeff. Right, I think I'm supposed to go that way. Let's check around in this little house for some stuff, though. The reason I was shooting the right shield is because I thought he might stumble if you shoot, uh, shoot enough, but apparently not. Hey, I got a new trick, though, look. Woo! I can do it by myself now. Feels good, man. Okay. Oh, there's a secret in here, look. Chat, you almost missed this. Almost. But then you remember that was a genius. Not today, chest with... 40, 40 salvage, really? That's it? For my big brain find? Feels bad, man. I'm getting in insane Sekiro vibes right now, and I don't know why. Okay. Don't collapse. Ah, this is a post. You can you can shoot arrows to that, I think, later. Don't know if we can do it just now, though. Campsite. We made it. We got any stuff here? Lara, what the hell happened? The storm. It came out of nowhere. These clouds, they just surrounded the plane. Lara, listen. I saw the crash from here, so you must be close to my position. Just get back here safe. All right. Okay. Oh my Got way. a skill point. Uh, what do we want, boys? Have we got anything exciting here? Ah, uh, let's see. This is all garbage, dude. I don't give a fuck about that. Do I need to unlock all of these to get access to these? Or did they just unlock later on in the game? I have, I'm not sure how it works. Do I need both of them? What else have I got? Dirt and rocks to blind enemies. Deliver two swift strikes with your claiming axe to stun enemies. Tier two hardened. Hmm. Let's uh let's take our last point in here then I guess for the extra ammo. And see if it unlocks any of these. Additional retrieval required. Hmm. Seems like such a shit point to spend. I really don't want to buy that. Like, I, I have strong feelings against it. I could take this though, I guess. So much flickering going on in this game, it's bizarre. Oh yeah, hardened tier unlocked. Congratulations, new skill tier unlocked. Lara can now use her claiming axe in combat. Press F near to strike enemies. That's good. Now I've got access to all these ones too. Increase your strength. Allows you to carry the maximum amount of ammo. Eliminate enemies with finesse to earn great rewards. That's good. And then we need tier 3 for that one. Okay, cool. So that is how that works. You have to unlock the shitty ones to get the good ones, which makes me sad, but I guess that's how skill trees work in general. Cheap real estate. That set of structure reminds me of the mage, co uh, the mage's college in Skyrim. Fight me. Well, I don't want to fight you, so in this one opportunity I'll agree with what may fail. Although I don't know what mages guild, what mages college you attended. 
okay, all time for that uh, for the gin that I bought without bothering to read the label of while I was shopping for vodka. Okay, nice. What's the name of the gin? Lobotomy fail. I've laid down and got comfy only to realise I've no water. Jesse, do you know what? I brought through my entire food plate a minute ago and realised I hadn't buttered my roll. Sitting down without a fork or sitting down without your juice is actually the worst the worst thing that can happen to a person. I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, dude. Now we are going so what is this, the last of us? I'm gonna have to shoot upside down. Nailed it. Rope new gear acquired. Oh no, are we gonna do something crazy here? Yeet! I don't know how Lara's got the upper body strength to pull that off, but she does. Don't don't worry about it. Can I pull this down on top of them? Insane. I don't think I can be hurt when I'm pulling as well, which is kind of funny. Put that down. Okay. Does that whole structure come down or...? No, that's just this cover. Oh my god, please. <laughs> J-Bob would be disgusted by my hands win right now. No, no cover for you, buckaroo. Hold steady. That was the worst shitting of my entire career. Worse than some of the shots earlier. Just when I thought I couldn't get any worse. I tried to fight again. I peeled the labels off because I like peeling off labels but it's cheap brand. You don't know what the label is because you peeled it off earlier. But bought me. What are we going to do with you? Are you sure it's definitely gin? You're not drinking like fairy liquid or anything, right? You're not drinking like washing detergent. That would be really silly. Don't want you getting ill. Glad you agree, I am suffering. Nice priority shipping, it should be here in a week, says Jesse. Um, past it inhaled, I now have a Buddha belly. Anyone want to rub it for luck? Sorry, I'm, I'm rubbing it in the spirit. Okay, I think I've got most of the stuff. Looks like we're gonna be, uh, Claiming. What is that? Are those just... <laughs> yeah. Claim, claim, claim. Okay, so we're definitely going this way. I'm just wondering, like, see these little ledges? Sometimes they have, like, treasures and stuff hidden on them. Hanzo Hashi... Hanzo Hashagi. Hasashi? I don't know why that was so hard, Jesse, but it was. Funny monkey upside down shooty. Valkyrie, don't you be doing the monkey again. I know what you're like. I've heard you doing that before, Valkyrie. Monkey! Valkyrie, I don't know what was more funny, you saying monkey or the amount of times you laughed at yourself saying monkey while saying monkey while fighting in Guilty Gear. Well, I might add also destroying other players. Valkyrie kept saying monkey over and over while playing Guilty Gear. And, uh... He was also wailing on people. I don't even know how he managed it, but it was probably the best thing I've ever seen. It is totally gin. Mm-hmm. Okay, then. Are you sure it's not nail polish? All the use of drinking washing detergent, I thought that was the thing now. It's like Smirnoff from the 2000s, no? I appreciate the offer, but I will have to pass. Kakwar, why aren't you rubbing Serenity's Buddha belly? Cactuar, why why not? Srinity offered that out of kindness. It's okay, I'll rub it on behalf of Cactuar SG, that don't worry like about a good it. Spot to into. Can I go all the way up there? Okay, I can only do one at a time. Okay, don't die Lara. Dude, why do I have the Attack on Titan song stuck in my head? Not only is it stuck in my head, but it's blasting in there. 
Oh no. I was drinking it while gaming uh, with a friend and saying, hmm, this vodka tastes weird. And he said, what brand is it? So I checked and oof, it's gin. One minute my ex is calling me wanting SGWC deets. Wait, is SGWC, is that? Oh, secret, secret um, gazelle. Wait, what does SGWC, is that big get, no. Wait, what did we say? What does that stand for? SGWC? Can somebody give me the, the, the file, the case file, please? I can't remember. I don't like physical contact with other people. Hugging and kissing, it's icky. I think you've been hugging and kissing the wrong people. A kiss with a hot babe. Uh, Valkyrie. Uh, Valkyrie. Uh, Valkyrie, you would know what it's like to kiss hot babes. Listen, character wire, if you've been, you know, hugging and kissing a hot babe is different from hugging and kissing your gran. You know, that's kind of something you just have to go through the motions of for the sake of family, but like... Dude, why does I just get a Vin Diesel image in my head when I said that, dude? Family. <laughs> Secret gay work crush. Okay. Okay. I can't say SGWC though. That's too complicated. I, I, I think we should have went for Operation Small Gazelle. But SGWC could work, I guess. Sigwika. Just doesn't have the same ring to it, you know? Sorry, I was... I, I know. Luckily, I've got you guys to remind me. Oh. I'm really glad you moved. <laughs> you and me both, girl. One moment they were fine. The next, there was this storm. It came out of nowhere. It's not your fault, Mara. I called them here, Roth. Find another way. Mayday, mayday. Co pilot, just a bear. Another pilot. One, seven, seven, Hello? Hello? Super yeah. Gazelle Warrior Champion. I badly hurt when I landed in Egypt. Is anyone there? Captain Jessup, do you read? I've deployed a smoke signal. Please. It's about family. Damn it, he can't hear I'm going to watch through the Fast and Furious movies again soon. So I'm going to do them all in order. People to worry about. We'll need to regroup as soon as they find Sam. Probably going to get halfway through the second alone. movie and then give up. Sometimes you've got to make sacrifices, Lana. You can't save everyone. I know about sacrifices. No, you know about loss. Sacrifice is a choice you make. Loss is a choice made for you. I can't choose to let him die, Roth. Damn, Roth. Roth does not give a single rat's ass. Roth, are you going to be all right here, mate? You gonna be behaving here, yeah? Looks like we're going all the way down to the pilot. He signaled. He signaled with a flare. The fuck is that? What's a huge statue built into the mountain? Honestly, how the fuck did they build these things? I know this is like an ancient burial ground, and they had magic powers and all that shit. But come on, dude. Going in. Did Jiraiya, is that you? I'm gonna head down and join the others at the plane. Hey, hey, hey. I'll take a look. No. No! No! Hold still! Sorry. They must have heard me singing the Attack on Titan theme. That alerted them to my presence, god damn it, chat. We should have kept it quiet. Anyone out there? Roth? I'm here, Reyes. What's your situation? Dude, I think Roth's gonna be a bad guy. Kind of How do we get from Belly to kissing grannies? Uh, well, Kakwar said he didn't like kissing people because it's icky. Which I normally I associate I with kissing grannies. Not that I kiss grannies all the time, but you guys know what I mean. Hopefully. Yes. So, I was just trying to convince Kakwar that not all kissing has to be icky. Kakwar, if you if you find some some hotties, you'll be excited to kiss them, right? Like Gaius, the most powerful card in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, the Pot of Greed. Oh wait, I can light the Buddha. I can light the the, the evil demon. Yes. Okay, I'm going in, boys. Ooh. Okay. 
Okay. This is looking good. What was that? GPS, okay. Have I been here before? Is this the area that I was in earlier? I think it is, yeah. We can ignite the beacons of Gondor. I don't know if that does anything for me, does it? We can jump and go all the way down there, but that's completely the wrong way. If we wanted to re-explore that area, we could look for some extra stuff that we missed. But I don't think we care. I think we just keep going towards where we're supposed to. We'll leave the uh, side exploration for later. That's the signal. Uh, I need my bone arrow. Boop. Honestly, I wouldn't not trust this to hold my weight, but alas, Alara seems to have huge balls. The only Vin Diesel movie is Triple X or Pitch Black at a push. What about the Chronicles of Riddick, Serenity? If you liked P Pitch Black, did you not like the Chronicles of Riddick? I don't know how good that movie is today in today's timeline, but that, I remember seeing that with my uncle back in the day. That was the bomb. Jack here's kissing thinks Granny's interesting. We gotta get back. I know. Shut up and let me finish. Hold it, keep holding. Sorry, this man's just trying to pee and I'm strangling him to death with a bow. Okay. Handled. Handled. I feel that like there's a lot of jump puzzles here. We probably want to go over and get some of that stuff later. Maybe after we've finished, figured out where we're going. What is through here? So I can go up there. Is that a hidden tomb? Oh, it's a secret tomb. Hold on, I need to light the demon. Give me a second, I need to light the demon. If I don't light the demon, he'll get grumpy. What have we got through here? Is that the way up to the top? I think that's the way up and round. Let's go this way though. Okay. Secret tomb nearby. We actually have access to this whole area as well. We should probably fuck around in there. So what is through that little pathway through there then? There's something right in front of me apparently. So does that just take me through to what, like that area? We go through the little cave and then across. There must have been something back here, right? Because I think that area there is where we're supposed to go. <gasps> okay, it's fine. I thought that was death, but it's not. We're okay. Totally calculated. I thought I was gonna this die. Must have belonged to me. Okay, we'll take that XP and stick up our butt. Brilliant. Climb, Lara, climb. Sheesh! Serene said sheesh to me in a tweet earlier. It was the funniest thing I ever saw. Sheesh! Sheesh! Sorry. I give guys a high five. Yeah, a high five on his dick. And that would knock you out. Not that I would know. What's the point of this? Dude, I feel like this thing's gonna collapse. Oh, maybe this is like an exit point for later. It seems like this is where we're going to turn up later. <gasps> There's an egg there. We need it. I don't think I can jump across this. Oh no. Sheesh. Pitch Black was a good flick, yes. Did you guys see the Chronicles of Riddick? I oh, fuck. I can't have been the only person to see the Chronicles of Riddick. It was like the follow-up spin-off movie. Because Pitch Black wasn't just about Riddick, right? He was like an important part of it, yeah, for sure. He was maybe even the main hero, but then they made they gave him his own movie, right? That was kind of cool. Jack, how crass. Cactuar, I was just saying what you were thinking. Baby, grind on me. Oh guys, relax your body. Right, secret tomb, we're going in. Nobody stop me. No, I've seen it, it just didn't make that much of an impact. It was okay. Serenity, there's only one impact in your life and that's Genshin. Which is why Chronicles of Riddick did nothing for you, I understand. 
everything comes full circle. Oh, I got a bow part. Nice. I can make my bow and arrow better now. Nearly missed that. What was that marked as? Was it? The, oh, I didn't even have a mark. But I think we get a treasure map from in here, which is cool. Okay. All right. It's a windy area. Did I love that noise? It's so exciting, but also terrifying at the same time. Like there's a ghost nearby. Okay. Got a little campfire. I can't get it out of my head. That came out of nowhere out I know, I know, it's weird. So what Lara's talking about right now is the fact that obviously we're in a tropical island, but for somehow there's like icy storms and shit. Wait, why can't I upgrade my, my stuff, dude? What's wrong with this camp? Is there like a glitch going on with the journals like fucking it? Come on, dude. Is this because this is a day camp? What is the point? Is this a bug? Am I not supposed to be able to use that? Why is it even here? I think the wind's gonna push me off, right? This was once part of Back, the camp is trash, it seems. Yeah, apparently, yeah. I don't know what's going on there. Okay, it looks like the wind's coming in here. We need to close the shutters. Oh my god, is this a horse? Why is this here? I would even know what horses wear out here on this island. Okay, so what's the point of this then? Okay, wait a minute. Hold, chat, hold. Crank, 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 crank. Oh my god. How powerful is this wind? Sounds like it's on a timer. It is on a timer. What's the point of that? Let's try it again. Something's going on here. Why would I need that up there? Can I climb up on these? Oh! do this as well. Oh, okay, so we bind this one up first. And then I climb on it. And then we wait for the window shutters to fucking open. Oh, shit. Oh, the timing was off, I guess. Wait, am I getting... Hmm. We have to get the timing right, I guess? We have to do this one first. And then we should get blown all the way up to the top, I think. Give it a couple of seconds. Okay. Quick. I fucking hate this. Hmm. I have to give it more time. Can you just remind me of how lonely I am at the moment? I haven't been playing it. I haven't been paying it much attention. Isn't the new uh, the new area is very soon? I think I have to wait until one of these shutters pops and then. Okay. I don't know why that cart was in this area like this. We seem to be using it to our advantage, but I don't understand how the old people managed to make it up here. Did they did they activate this every time or I guess we're just using this as our, our advantage because there would have previously been a, a ramp. Beautiful. Was this part of a larger complex of ruins? 
for any secrets. I like how when you're in the tr in the challenge area for like more than five minutes, the game's like, would you like us to help you? Are you having trouble? No. <gasps> Woo. Cat Quar, did you manage to get past your struggles of Mass Effect 2? How's that going? Tomb of Ascension. Got a bunch of XP. And a handgun part. Nice. And I can jump off this because I'm scary. God. And we got a map as well. I thought we might. Look how windy it is up here. I mean, I let the fucking... Can I use this now? Dude, I have no idea why this camp exists if I can't use it. I feel like that's a glitch. I really do feel like that's like a glitch, but maybe it's just a checkpoint save or something? I'm not entirely sure. Got to head to bed for the night. Night, everyone. Bye, Donna. Thanks for hanging with us. You have some sweet dreams, yeah? I finished that DLC. Did the Reaper IFF mission to get Legion. Okay, nice. Good stuff. Donna, thank you for being here tonight. See you later. Bay. Yeah, you'll get some new Genshin content very soon, guys, I think, right? Okay. I want to explore this area properly. Put the pistol away, Lara. Nobody asked for the pistol. Okay, let's go. Woo! Right, I really want to go up there to... Oh, I'll take that. I really want to get up there to Buddha. Evil Buddha. Can I... How would I... Would, would that work? No. I can't go that way. I want to get over there. Can I jump? There's no way she can jump that. That's death. I'm going to die. But I do need to go that way eventually, so I guess I'll get to it at some point. I probably could have went from there. No, I don't know. It's not a big deal. Uh... Okay. Can I shoot onto that? Let's go up the tippy top of the mountain. Oh, another one of these. What are you doing sneaking about down here, you rogue? Okay. Wait, how the fuck do I get out of here? She keeps pulling out the fucking pistol. Lara, put the pistol away, you monkey. I don't know how to get back. There must be a way up the top of here. Is there like a rock surface or something? A drop down? I can't see a thing. This can't be right. The camera here is fucked. Oh no. How the fuck are you supposed to get off of that tiny area? What the fuck? Left all the start of Legion's the, at the start of Legion's loyalty mission. After that I'm all ready for the suicide mission I think. Good. Can I go this way? I could have went straight over there, yeah. That's how I can get to Buddha. But I kind of want to go check out the other areas first. Oh, can I go... No. How the fuck are you supposed to get off of there? I kind of want to trap myself in that position now, so I... There's eggs we need to collect. Does she put that in there? No, she won't stick it in the stump, so to speak. This... Oh, is you have to go over there, is that right? No. Can she jump back up? What the fuck are you supposed to do if you... I don't even care about going this way because this isn't the right direction, but I want to know how players are supposed to escape this if they go that direction. 
How are you supposed to get over there? Can I just go straight across the here? Like if, let's say I went this way, like I did. And then I jumped over here, which I did. There must be a way off of this. There's this, oh, I guess it's over there. That's it there. Okay, nice. I just set my ass on fire, sorry. I never even saw this post on such a, a dweeb. Let me get the eggs first. This as well. Cool. Okay, we can go that way. Can I go back across? I don't know how to get up to that area. Can I go up there? Nice. Good. Okay, what we got? Bullets. Just some ancient relics that I smashed the shit. Okay. Is there anything at the very top? No. Okay. I guess I'm going to go... Oh, over there? That seems good. Whee! Nice. I can go all the way up here if I want. Is that just the way I started? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 I know where we are now. Cool. Good, guys. I think I got that down there, did I? Yeah, I did. Good. Good, 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 good. Alright, let's go on. Sweetest of dreamies. Left it uh, off at the start of Legion's Letter mission, and then after that, I'm already for the suicide mission. Ketro says, then in, in Cold Steel, I'm in the final chapter. So I could try and finish that off as well and move on to Cold Steel 2. Okay. You got options, so that's nice. Are you taking a little break from Trail's character? Have you slowed down a little bit with it, do you think? I think that's. If that is the case, then that's probably a good idea. I like sliding down the ropes. Today. Shut up. Okay. I'm gonna have to go over here. Because I don't think I can reach the parachute if I go the other way. I've been slowing down with games in general. If you play too much uh, of the same games, I feel like you are gonna naturally get quite, quite, have to get over there. quite tired. I get that all the time. I get burnt out sometimes. But then that's why I try and play as many different games as I can. Uh oh. Oh, Lara, come on, you're so close. Keep it going. Keep it going. You're nearly there. Just keep swinging. Oh no. Wait. Okay. That was close. I don't know why she could have kept hold of the rope and then swung up, but. She made it! Well done. Captain Jessup! Hmm. Why did he die? The flares are popped here. Captain Jessup, hello? We did a bunch of platform in there, so I'm wondering if there's going to be fighting coming up soon. Oh. Ooh, the mountain pass. Hey, buddy. Hey, Lara. Oh. Ross told us about the plane. Don't worry, there's got to be another way off this rock, right? I hope so. Any sign of Sam? Yeah, we tracked her to some old Japanese palace. I don't like the sound of that. Hey, don't worry. She's probably just uh, sightseeing. You're a terrible liar, Alex. <laughs> you have to be careful in there. I got 10 salvage from that box. I thought I took an upgrade to get more salvages from the boxes. I do think the game has started slowing down my resource gathering so I don't get OP. I'm only getting 10 salvage from these. I was getting 15 earlier. 
Maybe it just doubles the quantity of what you were going to get originally. And gives you a little extra, maybe. Dude, what the fuck? There's like two paths around the same area. Right, let's uh, use the campfire here. There might be a little item hidden in here somewhere. Okay, I can use this campfire, which is nice, unlike the other one, which is a bit bizarre. So, from my unlocks here, I need to... Is this... Arrow retrieval needed. Claimer's agility increase your claiming skills to reverse the environments with much more speed and resist falling damage. That seems pretty good. But I need to unlock that. Keeping your, your keen perception to find hidden items and rewards. I guess I'm going to have to take this eventually. Sure. Don't really care about extra arrows, but... Spotting hidden pockets on enemy corpses will reward you with extra ammunition. Yeah, I'm going to take Claimer's Agility, why not? Press Shift when landing from a hard fall to reduce damage. Also increase, increase claiming speed. Okay, cool. Taking a lot of random ass skills, but I don't think the skills are actually that important, if I'm being completely honest. I guess we we'll upgrade our guns a little bit. Uh, 15 rounds in the magazine. Increase firing rate, I don't know if I want that. I'll take higher magazine, why not? And I'll also take... Oh, our bow and arrow actually, we upgraded this, didn't we? Okay... Makeshift key ring release trigger further increases firing rate. Sure. We got two bow parts to make our bow slightly better, so now it's actually kind of cool. Alright, sweet. We'll keep a bunch of gear for the next upgrade, whenever that would be. And I can't actually upgrade my... I can't select my other weapons right now, because we're in the dark area, so I think she just automatically pulls the torch out. There's two ways to make it round here, though. I don't want to miss any treasure. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, so, hold on. If I go through this path here, is there anything hidden? Nope. And if I go through... round here... Is there anything hidden in here? No, I don't think so. Okay. <sighs> These ruins predate the Kofun period. Alright. Spooky caves. In tombs at last. A pilgrimage. I don't know if it's the same developers that worked. Like, it might have been the same studio, but I don't know if it was the exact same team that made the follow ups to this game. But whoever was working on this one done a really good job. Just not the audio balance. I can't understand why that's so poor. I don't know if it's because they designed... They obviously did test the audio, but I think they must have tested it, like, on... <sighs> you would assume that when they test these things, they test for, like, TV sound, headphone sound. Maybe I just don't have it set up for, like, my headset or whatever, but I can't imagine why the fuck the, the sound effects and the voice volume are in the same bar. Maybe, like, for consoles, that's fine. But it's such a it feels like such a mistake. A queen. Himiko? It's very strange. Incredible. We're getting salvaged from shooting these and I don't know why. Captain Jessup? Captain Jessup? Captain Jessup is- it's me, Lara Croft. Why is there a little ledge here? It's a bit old. Jumpy climbing area. Maybe this is the uh, escape once you come out. Alright. Oh, there's Captain Jessup. Buddy, what's happening? Oh no. Oh, it's a trap! For a child, you cost me a great deal of It's my it's uh Matthias. Kill her! 
Oh God! Okay, he got fucked up. Well, that took a violent twist. Obviously, the soldiers are not connected to all the statues and writings that we've seen. But this is, though. Uh oh. Okay. That's gonna hurt. Broken spine, broken collar, dislocated shoulder, arm totally wrecked, neck snapped, skull fractured. What's happening here? You wonder why after all this Lara continues to be a tomb explorer and doesn't actually just settle down in a mansion somewhere safe in England. She does instead continue on to become the Tomb Raider of late, where she ends up going around the places. Probably because of Trinity or some shit. Don't even know if Trinity are a problem yet or not. Look at this big morphine. Dad, is that you? Alright, Captain Club. Calm down. All right, so there are big, tall men with rock sledgehammers. Isn't she, isn't she technically an aristocrat in terms of birth anyway? I have no idea. Okay. It's windy again. Some ammo. That looks like shotgun ammo. And I don't have a shotgun yet. Oh, she. Wait a minute. Never mind, I do have a shotgun. The trench gun. Give these boys a taste of the old get off my lawn. Alright, it looks like they're not here. But I can jump through. I think we're gonna sneak up and then give someone the old. Okay, right now I'm dying, so Jesse, I'll be back with water rip comfort. Jesse, you can do this. Jesse, I believe in you. I hate tombs. I hate tombs. Laura, you're not allowed to say that. Himiko, the first Sun Queen. This is Yamatai. Yeah, the camera's very like. Why is the camera so fucked? And you're really here. Don't, don't go near. Oh, that's stinking. And Himi really, really dead. Yeah, Himiko is humming. Do not close that up. Throw a bath bomb in there. Close it again for a while. Leave it for three hours. Jeez. I like how she just opens the tomb and then leaves it open to the isn't that gonna like destroy this looks like some kind of fire ritual. any kind of preservation that's going on in there. Horrible. But why were the women burnt like that? A journey, a pilgrimage to is that this monastery? Pouring water. Why? Kind of want to go and watch the Tomb Raider movie now. I watched the movie last night, guys. Wait. See if you can guess what it was. It was a horror movie about death. It's an ascension ritual. It's how you chose your successor. Oh no. Uh-oh. 
Oh, that felt so. Oh, too slow. This motherfucker can teleport. I don't know what these boys are planning. Shotgun at point blank range is fucking lethal, bro. We're smurfing. I don't know what's what these guys were expecting. I mean, there's not, not a lot of tactics going into these guys' game plan, and I don't really understand. Dude, is that the Cubsy? Is that the J Cubaroo? Young, young Cubsaroo. Hey man, is this the first one of the remastered trilogy? It is, Cubsy. Thank you so much for the five month resub, my guy. Fuck yeah. Let's go. Cub, cub, cub it up. Yes, it is. It is indeed. Uh, this game came out quite a while back. Uh, do you know what? I want to say it was like 2013, but it might have been even sooner. Like, it might have been even further back than that. I'm not entirely sure. That looks like a crawl space over there. Doors are locked tight shut. I guess we're climbing on top of Himiko, no? We have to get that bell pulled back and then smash it through the gate. That's clear. Hey, what the hell's going on down there? What the fuck? Why did he take so long to activate? Can I claim on this? Amazing. <laughs> a giant monster has just killed a man. Lara's just blasted eight eight men with a shotgun at point blank. Goes over to check out the statue. Amazing. Amazing! How do I get up on top of the bell? Wait, have I not? Oh, I didn't salvage these guys. Hello? Can I climb up this? Do I shoot the bell? Maybe I can climb up on top of these? What is going on? Can I shoot the... Nope. Can go through there. Am I climbing up through this? Dude, what? Am I really not climbing up on top of Emiko? That seems like the, the play. But it doesn't actually look like that's relevant. Is it inside the bell? Can I just shoot this? There's this weird rope, but it's so thin I don't actually think it's relevant. The bell looks climbable. It is climbable. I just can't get high enough to jump on it. It's like it's too high. I'm supposed to swing on the... I think I have to go up and round up to that and then maybe jump down. Something's telling me that is what happened. Am I sh Maybe I can actually get up here. Oh, maybe I can climb on there. There is definitely... Is that where I came in, maybe? Maybe I can just... Can I shoot the rope? Oh, dude, I'm such a fucking dumbass, you know that. I literally just have to use my rope to, like, pull it. I don't know how Lara would have the upper body strength for that. I'm such a fucking dweeb. Yeah, yeah, the rope thing, Jess, yeah, that's exactly it. Dude, I don't even know why that didn't cross my mind. I've been doing it for the past hour. Whoops. Okay. There's a campsite here. We're n we don't actually need to. These guys are just gonna get wrecked. Okay. Woo! Lara, how does this keep happening? I remember, guys, there was one 
Play that rope bridge down there. I remember when we played through the third game on stream, the third Tomb Raider reboot, which would have been Shadow the Tomb Raider, I think. When we played Shadow the Tomb Raider, we were stuck in a cave doing a secret challenge. It was an alternative challenge, no in any, in any way related to the point of the story. It was just like an optional side area for extra rewards. Definitely worth doing, but you didn't have to do it. We were in there and I could not figure out how to beat the puzzle. And there was people who came into the stream and told me how to do it. Because we were there for like an hour and it was like so ridiculous, the, the puzzle solution. And even the people that helped us, when they finally, when they were like, do you want me to tell you, do you want me to, do you want me to tell you Jack? And I was like, I've been here for a long time and I have no fucking clue. And even the people that helped us were like, yeah dude, that, 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 like the solution to the puzzle was so random and unintuitive and I was so mad. Wait, how did they know I was here? Is there another one behind him? Yeah, there is. I have to, I have to bait this guy up. There we go. Okay, that was alright. The way out of here was right below them. The way out was right below them. So we have to smash the floor to smithereens, it seems. Okay. Nope. That was anticlimactic, mate. Good try, though. I think these guys are supposed to be jump scaring you, but... Your gun is just so powerful when you headshot. So this will open the winds. This will open the winds, and then I think... We can smash this into something. I think, uh, I think we do our arrow thing again. And it should cause a chain reaction, I think. Cubsy, how are you doing today anyway, mate? What's happening? Yeah, I think if I pull this, it's not enough. She can't do her Herculean strength this time. But with a bit of wind here, one of these is probably on a uh, smaller timer than the other. So if I open this, and then I open the other one, like this. Just gonna smash. Oh, I think. Uh, are these gonna close? Have I got? Is there a shotgun? Is, is the shotgun relevant? Maybe I shut the windows now? What if I shut the windows? That's not going to have enough force, surely. just to enjoy my last night before the work week starts. Did you have a good weekend? I do recall some tilt in that cave. He tilted the whole game. I think that Shadow the Tomb Raider just had a lot of annoying shit in it, which is really bizarre. Can I open these? Oh, I think I have to do this. Oh, I know what we have to do, guys. I know what we have to do. Watch this. I think we have to close one shutter and pull the bell to the side. And then smash the other windows. I think that's what's supposed to happen. Is it something like that where, like... 
Oh, it's the pillars. That's what it is. side now. Is that gonna work? Oh, oh that guy's got a mask. I can't headshot that guy. I think I just shot it off though. Did I shut it off? Yeah, okay, come on in. Right in the kisser, dude. Ooh, collateral damage. Red tiger. Yeah, I'm working on it. The whole area, like the whole temple, is lopsided now. I guess I do uh, both windows open at once. Dude, this has got to be... Is there... Got it. That was very convoluted what we got there. Oh well, you fucked up on it. I'm not gonna lie, shooting people with a shotgun in this game and headshotting with the assault rifle is extremely satisfying. Why is the sound alerts? The sound effects for this is so loud. Her noises. She's moaning. The volume has reset to 100%. Of Why is the audio for this one sequence 100%? This has to be a bug. If it's not a bug, then that is ridiculous. Oh, I'm gonna land in the fire. Just kidding, I'm insane. What the hell, dude? <laughs> Jump! I apologize, chat. <laughs> I don't know why it's like this. Get to the rope bridge. Oh, it's back to regular volume. Okay. Alright. Don't reload. Okay. Really? What the fuck? The audio went to like. Lara, I know you're trying to let us know that you're in pain, but come on, bro. Now she's absurdly quiet. God damn it, dude. I was on audio only for a second and I had to check what the fuck was going on. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Valkyrie. Sam, Valkyrie, do you normally listen on? Do you normally have audio only on as a viewer? Are you downloading something? The rest of the crew with you? No, I just managed to steal this radio off a guard. A guard? I've been kidnapped. What? Where are you? Where are you? I don't know. Some old Japanese palace. They keep talking about a fire ritual. Laura. I'm fucking terrified. Same. Oh, shit. Someone's coming. I've got eyes. Sam? Sam! <sighs> the fire ritual. <sighs> like the mural in Himiko's tomb. Roth, are you there? I'm heading towards the palace. The others are being held there too. I'll catch up to you when we can go. Parmy wants to check the back of this cave just in case. How has that radio survived? Buckets, we don't ask those kind of questions around here. We just accept, okay? How she still... How Lara still has all of her gear? She's still got the handgun, the shotgun. The bow and arrow is still here as well. How she... You know when she's been sliding down any of these rocks? I have no idea how the ice axe, the ice pick at her, at her thigh. Don't know how that's not embedded itself in her ass once or twice. Kind of confused, honestly. Just when I All right. 
The music here is faintly Tomb Raider, and it's great. Okay. Lara, can you be quiet? I'm trying to figure out what to... They're the remnants of some lost civilization. Okay, that might really sound like Dad. All I know is they killed those men, and I have a feeling they wouldn't hesitate to kill me too. But I can't think about this now. Sam's in trouble, and I've got to get her back. She's I did ask for the fucking diary entry, Lana. I'm trying to talk to the fucking chat. Jeez. Adds an alternative fighting mode which concentrates the cone of pellets and gives longer range. Full choke. Uh. Find three shotgun parts to unlock the next modification. Okay. Slotted barrel shroud improves gun handling for increased damage. That seems pretty good. Uh, polished bolt faster cycle between shots for improved firing rate. Helps with the weapon kick. I think I'm just going to go for damage, dude. Why would we not go damage? Full choke seems cool as well, but adds an alternative firing mode. I think you mouse button to get further and closer. Yeah, dude, well, we take both of these. We can afford both. I like the shotgun. It's fun. Okay, there's extra damage, and I'm going to take this too. Full choke. So when I'm holding the shotty... Uh, where is it? Oh, yeah, you mouse. Okay, so if I want to shoot a range, I click the... I think. I think that's how it works. I've just wasted, like, three shells. Okay, I'm going to quickly run to the bathroom, guys, really quickly. Valkyrie says, I mostly watch, but I like doing audio only when playing games and drawing art. It helps cut the resources while still supporting the homie. Yo, Valkyrie, I appreciate that. And I totally get where you're coming from, yeah. I use audio only mode when I'm out in the park or somewhere and my signal is really bad. So audio only is really good if I want to go a walk and I want to still hang out with the stream. Normally it would be like you guys' communities from the wolf pack if you guys are streaming or like the... Sometimes, you, I always used to think it was weird uh, when I was younger, my dad used to listen to the football on the radio while driving the car. So if there was a football match on, he would just listen to the radio, like the commentary of the of the game. And, you know, growing up, I never really thought much of it. Um, but I do that now with some of the league games. It's not as, I don't feel like it's as good because when you're listening to audio commentary with like a football game or like a basketball game, there's only one ball on the pitch. So the commentators are just following the football, right? But like when you're playing League of Legends, obviously there can be like multiple skirmishes happening in different parts of the map at different times. But it still works, I guess. A lot of please or please. Cubsy says, "Go ahead to bed." All right, Cubs. Thanks so much for hanging, man. Have a good week tomorrow. I hope work goes okay. Thanks for hanging out, and thank you for the five month resub, Cubsy. You're a legend, man. Layers, my dude. What did I miss? What's up, guys? Okay. Continuing on. Our croft journey. I don't know, is there a, a point of the game where it tells you how far we are through it? I know that the other... I guess it would tell us at the campfire, actually. Uh, or like when we check our save data. Let me do that in a little while. We're at the shotgun already, though. I feel like we're doing alright. I think the beauty and the, the, the length of these games comes from like... Uh, like how much time you're willing to put into like exploring the extra stuff and collecting the extras. There we go. Seven out of ten statues, not bad. Okay. Can I climb up here? No. If I fall off that edge, I'm going to die. We're gonna avoid that at all costs. There we go. Is there anything else over here that we can maybe find? Any secrets? Oh, secret treats! Give me some of that, dude. Yes, queen. Oh, there's a rifle part. I don't know how that works. Like, see these parts of the weapons that I'm finding? I don't know if that's just like when you hit a salvage. Like, if I hit like 100 salvage, does that just grant me the rifle part? Or is it only in that one specific part of the, the map? There's two rifle bars. I have no idea. Can I light this? Okay. Let's see, how are we gonna do this? Well, that just... 
nice. Just smash our sk we just smashed our skull off of that as we uh, as I tried to um, pull that over. Oh come on! If that doesn't work, dude, I don't know what. Are you kidding me? Oh my god! This is Resident Evil Eight all over again. Will this one work? Oh no! Did that get put by the waterfall? Dude, I don't even know why I'm bothering to do this because I don't think it's that even that relevant. Come on! There we go. That's got to have worked. Hell yeah! Thirty salvage for that. I hardly call worth, but okay. Definitely not gonna get that point in my life back. Jesse, don't you LMAO at me. That was pain during Resident Evil 8, okay? I hated that. I have no idea why those people were so obsessed with the fucking physics engine of that game. But they were just loving it. This is the good stuff. If you show up to the ceremony drunk, Father Matthias will cut your throat. I can hold my liquor as long as you hold your tongue. Hold still, yellow shed. <laughs> Who's worse, him or me? We try a new shot. There we go, bro. I can't tell who had worse shooting there. That guy or me. Definitely him, but that wasn't much better. Okay, guys, so hear me out, right? A game like this, but Pokemon. I'm just kidding, but I'm kind of not kidding. A game like this, but with Pokemon. Go. Discuss. Oh, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dude. Jesse, you could say it, right? You fly up here with your Zapdos, right? Or you climb up the mountain on the back of your Machamp. You could see it happening. Right? Srenny says, Jack, that would be a great idea. Why aren't you a game director at Nintendo? Well, they offered me the job post many times after watching all of my streams, but I had to say no, I couldn't leave the wolf pack. They would be lonely and they would die without me, so... Um, I actually declined that role. Even though they were offering me five billion a year. I just told them it wasn't gonna work. You know? I think it has potential. Bucket Spudge, that's why I like you. Nice. <laughs> but what if I wanted to go John Wick on those fucking tentacles? Interrupt my surfing now, bitch. Yeah, you could just grenade launcher the tentacles. If a, if the Pokemon are adventure game, can it Valkyrie question? Dude, this sounds like bait. It sounds like a trap. Would it actually be a Pokemon adventure game if you couldn't grenade launch the tentacle? That if they if they didn't have that in the game, it would be shit marking. It would be a false act campaign. We'd take them to court. Lara, don't do anything you're gonna regret. Where are you? Where are you going? Lara, we're not going that way until we've explored. You know the rules. I know Sam's your favourite friend. But we can't not explore this area in case there's hidden treats. Look at this, Lara. If you'd run to save Sam's life, you would have missed the secret door here. You fucking fool of a took. Lara's priorities really suck sometimes, do you know? Oh, look at all the salvage, Lara. How? Sam? Your friend is Sam, but she can wait. Dude, we gotta upgrade guns. So that we can kill the tentacle. What's over here? Have I been here? Is this where I was earlier on in the game? Oh my god, dude. Is that what I think it is? Herculean strength, go! Woo! Nice. Game really wants me to explore this area. It's given me access to it many times. Don't think I'm going to, but I will give this a... 
Oh, I thought I saw something that I was going to collect. Oh, there's a... Oh, wait a minute. Wait, what the fuck? Was this here before? I, what Did I not see that? And this? What the f... Oh, the plane... Wait, is this a completely new area? No! The plane fell down during the storm? What the fuck? Oh! Freebies! Thanks! Oh, and there's a pick here! Sorry, Wilbur. Come here. 18 salvage, probably from all the bullets I just fucking riddled them with. Oh, look, says Jesse. I would absolutely kill a man to have a game look like this. Climb to the top of the mountain, motherfucking, to catch a giant bigger than fucking lion, Charizard. Yes, Jesse, now you're talking my language. Yes, Jesse. But I have zero hopes for these things ever. Damn, Jesse, you're probably right. You're probably right. But what if? Dude, a bigger than Lion Charizard seems exactly like what I need in my life. That could work. Yeah, you tell them not to do the village things over the phone. Oh, not to do villain things over the phone. That will surely teach those villains. Sorry, mate. Lara told me over the phone I cannot conquer the world today. Can you wait 24 hours? Lara's on the way, but the bridge blew down in the storm, so you need to give her some time. You need to give her some time to work. Someone looked at this picture many times. Okay, someone looked at this picture many times when they were alone up here, naked. Okay. Mm. Give me some of that. I've got an arrow here. What does this say? Fear of the demons. Why is there two arrows pointing at this? I think it's Father Math Matthias. Dude, why is it always the Makai sending fuckers that are the bad guys? Give me this. So have I not found here? Beauty school dropout, beauty school dropout. Go back to high school. Not Pumba. Not Clayton. Okay. So we set this one on fire. Then we play Resident Evil Physics. With this. Woo! And then that just goes skablam over there. And then we. Oh. And then we. Oh. Come on, not Clayton. Come on, Clayton! Okay. This is winning. Come on, hit that fucking thing. Clayton, come on. Do you not know, just hate it when you're trying to get a fire, a flaming lamp to swing towards you, but it's been a, it's been a fucking car check. Don't know why I'm, I keep referencing Tarzan in Kingdom Hearts, but there was one time I was watching J Bob play that part of Kingdom Hearts with Tarzan, and I couldn't remember what the the monkey was called, and I was like, "What's that monkey called?" And Tom Tom Wiggle immediately was like, "Dude, that's car check." I don't know what was so funny about that interaction, but it made me laugh for a long time. Just the way that Tom Tom insta knew. He was like, dude, that's Kerchek, Jack. Good old Tom Tom. Could always rely on him. Okay. Okay, I think we're good here. I don't think there's anything else for us. Uh, shift. Yeah, there we go. We got the we got the tactical roll now. Can I survive this? Oh my god, dude, that is insane. Lara, how? How is this possible? Uh oh. Baby. Shut up. 
Okay, I wasn't supposed to even come this way, but I did. I better go and save Sam, right? I never even checked to see if there was stuff on the plane. There's like stuff over there as well. I don't even know. Do we care? I guess I'll do it while I'm here because I haven't run through the plane and I think you're supposed to run through the plane, so I'll do it quickly. Oh, here we go. Rewarded already. We got salvage box. Can I jump there? Nice. Not Clayton. I realised I dropped one too many fucks in that last sentence. I apologise, I'm just really sad about this si the human sized Charizard. Uh, no. It's okay. No, you're allowed all the fucks, Jesse. That's good, I like it. I like it. Yeah, no. Maybe one day, eh? Srenny, do you think you could, uh... Serious question, by the way, right? Srenny. Serious question, I'm not memeing. Srenny, if you think that there was a Pokemon game that looked like this... Maybe not played exactly like this, but do you think if a Pokemon game looked with the kind of... Instead of just being the kind of traditional top-down... You know, roaming around stuff, if it was actually like this... I know some people don't want this, by the way. I'm not saying this has to happen or that it has to replace the traditional Pokemon games, right? I'm not saying I want to be that guy, but if they were to do a, an additional... Let's say Square Enix was to collab with Pokemon and they made a side Pokemon game like this, where you could go around catching the Pokemon and then there was a story tied to it. Would you be interested? Isn't Charizard still like five foot something in height? Yeah, that's the thing. I always thought that Charizard was much bigger, but apparently Charizard's fairly small compared to certain humans are most it's small compared to like big pokemon right it's not as tall as like dragon oh okay want to show up when parts fine okay nice is your guys coming to kill me Not Clayton. Okay, that was smooth. Oh my god, what was that zoom in? That was gross. Okay, maybe I can still can go up the way for a tactical advantage. I'm just pre pre pretending to be Kerchek right now. It gives me strength when I roam around and pretend to be a monkey. Oh, I could have definitely snuck across here. What? I could have... Oh, I could have came along this way and then jumped, jumped, snuck attack. That would have been so cool. We could have stealth passed all these guys. Instead, we went for the yeehaw, the yeehaw angle. Guess we salvage a couple of things. Why not? We handled that no pretty well, around. though. I've got to cross. Wait, really? I think this is gonna kill me. Oh no. But I have a bad feeling about this. Bada. Could we really not have found another? Well, we fucked this up, didn't we? Oh god. I can't see a goddamn thing. That's a propeller. Hey Solo Squad, what's up dude? Oh, I've seen this. This happened once in Jurassic Park. Get the pack. Parachute. Oh, no. 
Kill the second one. Shift. Woo. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Forgot about this. It's okay. We are a master of the skies, champ. Lag. What happened there? Can't believe that fucking happened. Where did that branch come from? Who put that in the game? We were doing so well. Solo Squad, how are you doing tonight, buddy? What's happening? I have no idea how we hit a tree. Why is she coming off the bottom? Ooh. Cherry Mon every time. Solo Squad. By the way, Wolfie, I used my Twitch Prime on your channel. Did it work or no? Uh, Solo Squad, were you already a sub? Or did your first sub expire? Um, you are subscribed right now, my guy, if that helps. If I go across to my... If I show you my left monitor, you are actually subbed for two months. I was subbed. I think what it might do is it might apply it after your current month runs out. What you should do is uh, hit, uh, hit refresh on your browser and see if the sub button appears in the chat. You might be able to share it. If not, it means that you still have a few days left and then your new sub will overwrite it. I think that's how it works. Come in for the next month. I think. Uh, I think that's how it works. But honestly, Twitch Prime's a bit strange because it's like a, a unique kind of... I don't know if Twitch Prime... I don't know if it would overwrite your existing one or what, but I think it'll probably sub you for the next month, maybe. But I don't know if Twitch, I don't know if Twitch primes are that flexible, or otherwise people would just stack their Twitch primes on top of someone, and I, I don't know if that's possible. Oh shit! God, I'm just having a bad time here. So the squad, regardless, thank you for trying to use your Twitch Prime on my channel. I think you will be able to use it eventually. Maybe in a couple of days. What will happen? I think. I think what will happen, Solo Squad, is in a couple of days, you will, uh, you'll be logging into the stream if you come back, right? And when you go to type in the chat, there should be a share button that you can just click, and when you share it, it'll pop up on the screen here, on, on stream. Uh, but if it's not, if your first month is still ongoing, your first month, whoever, whoever gave you it, if it was you that paid for it, or for someone who gifted it, or if it was your Twitch Prime, it'll probably you'll still be on your first month before you can do the second one, if that makes sense. It gives you your full 30 days. It doesn't want you to, like, cut four days off yourself or something. Thought I was getting wrecked here. Okay, we want to get to a workbench, I think. Oh no, Jesse, what have you done? Hopefully that works, Solo Squad. Much love to you, man. How are you doing tonight, Solo Squad, anyway? How's your day been? Good weekend? So I'm just getting wrecked in here. Oh no. Dude, that looks like a giant snake head. Did you see that? I just got fucking wrecked. What the hell's going on? 
Whew. The Somali. Lost his Again. <laughs> Any sign of the old man? Nope. He's a tough bastard. But he won't get What about the other one? We got him locked up in the cage. Why is Father Messiah keeping that in mind? Huh? Help me out here! <laughs> Take all this stuff. I don't know how we got this down. Can I shoot them? Hey. Rewarded. Can I jump this way? Oh, she can't jump. She's injured. Okay. We can't jump as Lara. We have to try and get ourselves to some sort of medical treatment before we start jumping around like a monkey. Monkey! Monkey! Valkyrie, you've put that in my head, goddammit. I can't escape the monkey. Oh my god, these people actually got crucified. What the fuck? And barbed wire as well. Yikadoodles. There's no need for any of that. Uh, I was about to say we both had the same instinct. Doing great at 6.25am here and it's amazing. Starting the day with at Mr. Wolfie is the best chat in the universe. Yo, let's go. Hell yeah, solo squad. Mr. Wolfie and the best chat, Sonny. Nice, man. Do they know I'm here? Dude, I fucked up so badly. I don't know why that was such a problem. But we seem to be doing alright. Look at that bridge. Uh, can I... There we go. Pin in the back of the helicopter, let's do this. I have so much ammo at this point. Maybe Lara can heal herself in here? Oh. I'm pretty sure these supplies would be long gone, but never mind. Oh, never mind, they are. Head empty, return to a monkey. There's that thing that... Uh, isn't the monkey meme from like Kung Fu Panda or something? Monkey. Sorry. Monkey. Ew. Awkward. Funny food was alive. Keep touching me, baby. I like that. Oh, a lighter. So now we can get high. I guess she's gonna try and car like is she gonna cauterize the wood not yeah she is. Oh no, this is gonna suck. Dude, I don't think okay, just hear me out guys. If you had a lighter, you could probably make a piece of metal quite quite quickly, but only if it Only if you were sitting there for a while, right? If you were sitting with a lighter holding it under the Wouldn't that take a long time to get actually hot enough for you to do anything? What if it ran out of lighter fluid? Oh. Oh, a new bow and arrow. Is that my same bow and arrow? Oh, I think she was looking at the, the arrow pointing at the lighter to make fire arrows. Is that what was going on? I think she's gonna set an arrow on fire. Yeah, nice, dude. So one on the keyboard to select fire arrows. Monkey. Ross, can you hear me? Ross? Come in, bro. Lara, are you okay? I'm fine. You don't sound fine to me. I'm fine, Ross. Where are you, girl? I'm in some kind of shanty town near the Fortify Palace. Shanty town. coming down the hill. How did you get there so fast? Long story. I can see the town from here. Are you near that large gate? I'm heading towards it. It's the outside. Oh, shit. There. Uh -oh. Wow. 
pretty sure I remember this part. Why am I so bad? What? Come there, bro. That's that last guy. He's gonna flank me. Oh my god, dude, I'm fucking- in Oh, I was standing on the fire that I set myself, what a dumbass. Whoops! Oh, I have to do the whole thing again. Damn, that was kinda sad. If they flank you, you're just fucking doomed there. Maybe I should just go back to using the fucking... Maybe I should just go back to using the... Bad guys come in. This always seems to be the bad guy. <laughs> Fuck off. Here? I think that's all of them, right? Done. Are we done? Oh, there's actually a campfire here. Okay. Skill points. What have I got? Axie expert. Um, sure. Finish enemies with the axe. Dodge counter after dodging an enemy, stab them in the knee with an arrow to cripple them. That sounds pretty fun. Okay. Yikes. Infinite arrows. Bonfire. Oh, don't say bonfire. I know what you're thinking, Soul Squad. Don't you say another word. Not those kind of bonfires. Get all my arrows back here. There was a chest at the top of here we're gonna grab. We fought the whole gang in this tiny area. I don't know if that was supposed to happen or not. This area is pretty huge. I don't know if I care enough. Look how big it is. It's actually crazy. There's chests all over the place here. There's gonna be more men compiling in here soon, I'm pretty sure. This 
far too quiet. This this area here is the bit I remember fighting in when I played this game the last time. Scrap, scrap. There's also scrap up there. I feel like I want to go high. Let's check over in this area too. It's a secret area there as well. What we got? So much stuff. Here. Rifle part found. Okay, cool. Uh, a lot of hello. Come on. Okay, there we go. Freebies. Bonfire. I don't know what you guys are thinking. Bonfires. There's only one game series that uses bonfires as a save point, travel point, heal point, a place of safety and security. Zoo Tycoon. Of course. I'm not playing Zoo Tycoon chat, we've already done that. I'm kidding. We played Planet Zoo once for about 10 minutes before my computer exploded, but that was fun. Maybe when the new GPU comes, guys, we'll build, an, uh, we'll build a zoo together. That was a movie with Matt Damon, was it not? We bought a zoo. That's gonna be us, chat. We're gonna buy a zoo. Oh, is there a tomb here or something? Why is that here? That normally is that not does that not mean there's a tomb close by? Have I to Is that oh laid to rest? the rope. I don't want to be down low when the fighting starts. Oh, that might be a secret tomb over there. It doesn't look super secret. I love when she does the lunge across. It's so funny. Oh, come on, Lana. You can absolutely make that. Don't lie to me. Is this it? It looks like there is a tomb here. Oh my god, stop it. You're embarrassing yourself. Hey, Pip, welcome back. I'm back. I had like two naps, but I'm back. Nice. How was your two naps, Pip? Was everything you ever dreamed? Did you have good dreams? I can't even remember what I was dreaming about, but there was something wild earlier. Don't know if it was anything exciting or not. I think the way I'm supposed to go is over there. Through that gate. See that gate over there? That's where we're supposed to be heading. But I really want to... Can I... Oh no. How do I get- oh there we go. Answer my own question. Sweet. Okay. I don't know why I'm collect- why I'm bothering to collect so much salvage because I don't think it's actually going to matter in the grand scheme of things. But we'll do it anyway. Right, let's go do a little challenge to him because I think there's one in here. Oh my god, dude, this has got to stop. Capture her for the sacrifice. Be careful. <laughs> Luckily my pistol has unlimited hack. That guy will let him just move on there. I have no idea why my pistol has unlimited ammo here, but I don't care. I 
guess I could have let myself down faster. But that was unexpected. Another sacrifice. My god, what's driven them to this? Okay. Oh, hello, Ryan. How nice of you to show. What time is it, Ryan? Why are you up at 20 to 5 in the morning? Are you working? No, you're off, Ryan, right? You're off for a full week. You have some wacky dreams that feel super real and annoy the shit out of me. Pip. I think we've all had a couple of weird dreams. What do you mean your, your dreams annoy you? Do you guys ever feel annoyed when you wake up from a dream that you're kind of invested in and you want to go back? Like, do you ever, like, wake up and try and fall back asleep into the same dream? I see you touched the 50 round drum to the pistol, good choice. I did, yeah. Not intentionally. Ryan, why are you up at this time? You've been sleeping all day. Kind of like me. I'm not judging. That is me. For someone hanging upside down, they're terrible at shooting. Buckets, are you implying that I was bad at shooting or that the enemies trying to kill me were bad at shooting? One of those I agree with and make makes me happy, the other makes me sad. I can't actually light anything here. There we go, now I can see. Okay, secret tomb guys, secret tomb, we're going in. There's going to be some puzzles and probably a shitty campsite. That doesn't work properly. Okay, I got my campsite here. Assault rifle, modifying the weapon will keep all previous upgrades intact. Okay. Gear. Upgrades. What we got? Anything exciting? Improved barrel for handling for increased damage. Yeah, I mean, why would we not want increased damage? That'll do. Fantastic. And faster reload speed? I mean, why not? That'll do. I didn't awaken late. Oh, I did awaken late. Oh, okay. I see. Did you have a nice uh, Sunday run from what most of it that you experienced? Ah, uh, you. Okay. I'll take that. I'll take that. Throw that out there. Okay, I see what's happening. We gotta weigh it down, boys. Yeet. Wow, that's just insane at throwing these fuel canisters like a fucking champion, bro. Can she get out there? No, I don't think so. I guess I gotta toss it up. I think that's everything I need, right? Okay, so, so I don't know how that physics works out, but I understand. From what I gather now, we stand in it and then throw them back out. No. I'm so confused. No! Bad! I have dreams where things uh, that fuck my th fuck up my day happen. I've woken. I've had a dream. I gave birth once. I don't know. I swear to God, I could feel the pain and woke up sweating buckets. Oh my lord, Pip, that's I, I can I can can I can safely say I've never given birth in a dream before. But maybe uh, maybe one day. Bad timing for a sleep reset though, going through to Edinburgh later. Oh, what are you doing in Edinburgh, Ryan? Anything exciting? Let me guess, you're going to Miller and Carter. You're going to Miller and Carter for a steak dinner.
We played some League Flex. It was it went as you'd expect. <laughs> okay. I'm uh, sorry I missed that, dude. I like me some flex. It's fun. What roles did you play, Ryan? Tell me about it. If Ian was playing, he would have been ADC, I would imagine. You were probably mid. And then Callum was support. If Callum was playing. If Ronan was playing, he'd probably play jungle. Lawless. I don't know if any of these guys were there. Maybe uh, Chewie played? Maybe Chewie played top support. Or uh, top... Top jungle, I would imagine. I could do with the spot of unconsciousness right now, says SJ. When was the last time you went to sleep, Sereni? Oh no. It's a trap! Wow. What the fuck is this? Did the lost place? She's trapped! I surround her! Why am I using a bow? Oh, that one girl is kicking her ass. These guys are getting absolutely fucking shot on. I think that's it. I think that's all I've got to deal with. Didn't even get to use my shotgun, dude. Didn't even get to use the shotty. Oh, unless... Do we have to do this twice? Maybe I have to do this twice and... Uh... Oh, no. We gotta burn that, do we? Flammables. There we go. Let me see here. Nice. We made it. Cool. Alright. What else have we got going on here? After dodging an enemy, I like the idea of that. Not so concerned about throwing. Light, skillfully dodging light armored opponents will then strike them at close range and instantly kill them. That sounds great. Stab enemies at close range. Execute enemies at point blank range for more rewards. I mean, that seems pretty good. Eliminate enemies with finesse. Yeah, dude, finesse is all I do. Finishing moves, headshots, and stealth kills. Okay. Heavy lifter for more ammo. Alright, not bad. Gear, I guess upgrade some more stuff, but I mean like, maybe the shotgun's got an upgrade? Uh, improved sh f uh, speed between shots seems fine. Or reduced recoil, I'll take reduced recoil. I think that's fine. Okay. Don't really want any of these. Okay. I'm walking up a hill and then getting food, says Ryan. Nice. I hope you never do. I thought I was dying at first, and then I realised it was supposed to be a birthing event, and I had to watch the Smurfs to get my mind off falling asleep again. I've definitely done that. Like, I've woke up from something so intense before that I forced myself to watch something completely ridiculous in order to, like, calm down from it. Like, if you ever watch a horror movie but can't sleep after it because you don't want to go to bed thinking about nothing except the horror movie, it's just going to pollute your brain, right? I literally will go and watch something ridiculous. Like... I'm not saying I'll go and watch an episode of, like, Tom and Jerry, but something similar. Maybe, like, an episode of the Looney Tunes or, like, Pink Panther or something. <laughs> Maybe listen to, like, a podcast or something bizarre to take my mind off whatever craziness went down. I was due with Ian San and he fed like usual, Kappa. This is the area I was thinking about before. I'm not a fan of this. I think this is going to be fucking chaos. Alright, here we go. I see this huge. This must have taken a long time to make. 
I just want to get through this nice and easy. Hey, Trexter. Yo, Trexter, I've not seen you in ages, man. How are you been? I think Trickster is the the Scottish guy. Grim, you escaped. Yeah, I'm on the way. Hold on. <laughs> Lara. He's extremely unapologetically Scottish. I just, I just wanted to get up. <laughs> Don't you see the damn ladder? Oh, well, I found a secret by accident. I fell off the edge and found a secret. I'm on the way, dude. Calm the fuck down. The game's telling me my survival instincts to help find a ladder. Trexter says, I'm good man, just been busy. You got a new PC? I got bits of a new PC, mate. I've got everything except from the GPU, which is on the way. Has been for a, quite a while, but it is supposedly on the way. Is that the one? Oh my god. Dude, these guys are standing directly behind that little thing. Why do they keep standing behind that thing? Oh, it's because it's winding. Oh, they're trying to wind something. What is... Is that the alarm? Oh. They're learning. Oh, I just push shift to aim, but that's... Here he comes. You're alive. Hey, bud. Just barely. Where are the others? Still locked up inside, but I know where nice they are. he was up there, wasn't he? And we'll get them out together. I can't Stream's looking clean. Here. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Damn it. Well, they got some kind of setup for hauling cargo. Hope you've been well, Tricks, there. Maybe you can use it to come around the other side. All right. The AK is like a laser gun. Where's the recoil? I've done upgrades on it. I've pr all of the upgrades I've took on my weapons have basically been for uh, recoil reduction. And I'm also tapping it, I'm not holding it. Like, you can hold it, but you, I'm, I'm basically tapping the mouse. Uh, I guess I'm not going up the ladder, am I? No. I'll get this, whatever this is. Shotgun ammo. I think I have to make my way back through the, through the city now. On the way, that's an optic way to put it. It's getting closer. It will actually... So I got an email two weeks ago, Ryan, um, and it told me my queue position, and then I got an email like on Tuesday, which was, yeah, again, like a fortnight's difference, but it, I went up the queue like 70 places, 77 places or something. It may have just been a coincidence, but it seems like it's speeding up a little bit, hopefully. Where the fuck am I going? Up there. Uh, did I go the wrong way? Or is that a path? No. Dude, I'm, I think I'm in the wrong way. My bad. Port Raider. I'm from the what? I'm from Watford. Nice, dude. Trexter, I appreciate you uh, coming back to visit us, man. 
How's life been treating you in Watford? I'm working on it, bro. Oh, I'm to have to take this, I think. Right? There we go. Oh, Jesus Christ, bro. Please, mercy on my soul. I apologize. We're having difficulties. I read earlier, I got an upgrade for climbing faster, but the perk was to allow you to climb faster, but also use shift to like land faster as well. It was just me being a dumbass, ignore me. I think I'm going up there, is that right? Yeah. I saw some scrap down there, but I don't know if I care. There's also a little box in there as well. Yeah, I need to stop doing that. I keep thinking hold shift makes you climb faster, but it doesn't. I went for Digimon Survive, it was trending on Twitter a couple of weeks ago. What was the news about it? Why was it trending, Trexter? I'm also excited for, for Digimon Survive, but then just like my graphics card, I've been waiting on it my, like my whole life, it feels... Feels like I've been waiting on it my whole life at this stage. Uh, can I shoot these things? Okay, there's a cable car. It looks like... Oh, that's something I can take down. What? Okay. Alright, we'll pull that down. I feel like I can... Can we not? What's this for? I think I have to sever the cable, can I? There's a lot going on here. I can jump on and then maybe zipline down there, but I think I'm going to jump. Yeah, I was going to say we're going to be fine here. Hey, bud. Where did he go? <gasps> Jesus. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck? He's gonna dynamite me. Jesus Christ, bro. What the fuck? Okay, I was standing still, I didn't move there, so I don't know why suddenly he was able to shoot me when he wasn't before. That's a bit bizarre. Oh, maybe this is better actually, like, there's like a higher path here. Oh, I don't have any fucking... There we go. Okay, give me this. That move. Okay, there we go. Let's use our bow and arrow here. Oh no. Not dynamite, Joe. Oh my god, dude, I'm actually totally. My god, please stop. Okay, that guy. I think that guy was supposed to have a, head, a helmet on, but I, I think I keep hitting him like in the throat, which apparently is like an insta kill. Okay, we'll keep the shotgun out here. I can hear someone, but I have no idea where they are. I need him running. So, on my right? Where the fuck is this guy? Oh, he's dead. He's on the staircase trying to kill me. What? Dude, what's going on, man? Is this guy a ghost? Did he kill himself? Oh, he's jumped down here. Yeah, he's down underneath me. Apparently there's a secret tomb down here, I really never expected to see that. Oh, 
Where is he? Oh, there's a campfire there as well. I jump on here. Okay. Skill points, what we got here? Let's kind of get something from this dodge encounter. That seems good. Yeah. Shift the dodge and then F for an insta kill. Could upgrade all of our guns, but I can't be fucked. Normally the campsites have a little note or something in them. I think that's the way I'm supposed to go. Um, but before I go that way, I am most likely going to go through here, which is the cave. Don't know where that guy went though. There was definitely a dude here that I was fighting. Is there anything of excitement in this area? It seems like quite, quite important to have like nothing in it. What is going on? There we go. Take that. GPS. Quite a good jump considering y'all can come play Star Citizen. Ryan, I don't know if I'm excited about Star Citizen as you are, but I will remain optimistic on behalf of yourself. Who knows, mate? That may be my new, my new crack. anything that way. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go do our secret cave. Oh my God, dude. This guy, every time I go to fight him, he hides when I, I think it, I think there's like a diagro thing going on where I'm like just at a range. Little son of a bitch. Where's the staircase? I gotta finish this guy off. He's still in me. Somebody shouted to him. I don't think he's the only one here, is he? That was really close. He could have killed me, actually. Alright, this is the way we're supposed to go. We'll go that way later. So let's put out the torch. Uh, jump over here, do a battle roll, or not. Where are you going? Come here. I'm sorry, Wilbur. 16 salvage, I don't know if that's particularly worth, but I'll take it. Okay. Into the secret cave. Literally the best game of tish, stress tissue on your GPU. I mean, yeah. Dude, I don't know, man. I get worried when see these games when they're in development for so long. I get worried that like they take so long developing that by the time the game is finally ready, it's already like out of date. And some of the graphics, some of the the gameplay that I was watching of Star Citizen, some of it looks amazing. Some of the level of detail and the ideas behind it are, are like incredible, and it's amazing that games companies are are going at projects of that scale, but it doesn't really look that great. I I hope that I'm going to be proved wrong. Maybe by the time I play it, it'll be phenomenal and I'll eat my words. I hope I, I am wrong. It just doesn't really look like it's that appealing. It looks complex and it looks like there's a lot in it, but... Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Trexter, uh, you said Bandai Namco promised us an update um, on the game for the spring. Safe to say the fans weren't pleased with the pin drop silence from the devs. I mean, dude, honestly, I just think, right, and this is my only explanation for anybody who's interested in this topic, right, I don't follow a lot of what what's going on with, with Digimon Survive, right? I don't follow the devs. I don't know if any of the devs have like some sort of like Twitter or like Asian Twitter where they like update about their lives or what they're doing. 
if you guys tell me news about Digimon Survives, I'm very excited about it, and I'll listen to it, and if there's a trailer, 100% I'll watch it the day it comes out, right? But, so what I'm about to say is purely based on speculation. I don't think that the Digimon Survive devs, either they, either they don't know how much anticipation is waiting for this game here in the West, or they don't care. Now, I really hope that they're just oblivious, and that's why they never talk about their game. Or, they are just totally clueless that there's like thousands and thousands and thousands of Western fans waiting for news on this game that was supposed to be out two years ago. Um, I don't think it was officially meant to be out, but they had an initial release dates planned for like a couple of years ago, right? And I know that COVID has happened and the, the world's been under, you know, pandemic stress and that's, that's all understandable. And we've also saw what games are like when they're not ready and then they are published before they're ready, i.e. Cyberpunk, right? So it's not that I care that the game's getting delayed, I've not got a problem with that, but I do wish that they would give us some clear updates and indications on what the fuck's going on. It has to be, as I said, either they don't realise that there's this much hype waiting, because I'm pretty sure if they knew, they would give us more trailers and more, more updates. It, it might just be that they don't know, or they don't care, which is also a possibility, or... The game that they're trying to make is so fucked that they just are so scared about talking about it. It might just be that Digimon Survive has been re rewritten and recoded and redesigned so many times from the ground up because they're just not happy with it that they just don't know where it's going. So they don't want to give any marketing details about it in case it changes again. Kind of like in the same way that Final Fantasy forty, um, sorry, Final Fantasy fifteen had a lot of redones and redos, but. Mm. Why didn't you like it, the mountain of bugs? No, Ryan, it's not that I didn't like it, mate. I just didn't think it looked very appealing for a game that's been in development for, like, what? How long did you say? You said that you said they had a big team and it's been in development for, like, what, like, 10 years or some shit like that? I know it's an MMO and it's spacey and it does look alright, but... I don't know. It looks like they're trying to do too much at once and... I don't know if the final, pol the final product will be that polished. But if it's good, I'll definitely give it a go, mate. Um, and I think if, you know, it looks like they've got a lot of big actors for the, for the campaign, right? They had a lot of big people, like, actually as actors in the campaign for the Star Citizen campaign. But, like, if that trailer was from, like, a year or so ago, what have they been doing? If they released a trailer... Unless they released the first trailer for Star Citizen's campaign when it wasn't, like, totally, like, you know, when they still had a lot of work to do. And again, I know COVID's been a thing, but... When was that trailer from that you linked, Ryan? Wasn't it from, like, fucking ages ago? Hmm. They weren't toxic, though, just concerned. Yeah, the fans will be, Trexter. Like, the thing is... Again, like, speaking of companies, like, releasing trailers before the game's, like, totally out. I know they're trying to build up hype in advance and stuff like that. Like, I know that's how marketing campaigns work. You build up game hype in the run-up to the game um, over the course of, like, a year or two sometimes. If you think your game's going to be really good, you do all your, your marketing so that when the game does drop, you've got a lot of excitement and anticipation and people are ready for it, right? You don't want to release a game and then nobody knows about it and then you lose all your money. So I get why they make that kind of stuff, but... With Digimon Survive, I just think they've... I, I just don't know. I think that they've made the game and they've been working on it for a long time and then they've realised halfway through that the game's just... There's something wrong with it. Either it doesn't look good, it's not fun to play, or they just don't think that it's going to work with the audience. Maybe there's a game out doing something similar but it's just so much better that they don't want to release a product that is like far like, in superior. Like, it looked like, from what I've seen of Survive, right? Obviously, they've got these beautiful animated cutscenes in the story and all the voice acting and all that stuff. I don't think there's a problem with any of that stuff. I think it's the actual core gameplay. What you're actually doing every minute that you're playing the game. They've obviously got the grid-based combat that we've seen in some of the trailers. Now, there's grid-based grid combat that I can think of as games like Fire Emblem and then maybe Final Fantasy Tactics and a couple of games like that, right? If, they've, if they're bringing out a game in 2021 that is like worse than the games that have been out for the past couple of years that have been doing this kind of stuff. I mean, grid-based combat's been out for a long time, right? But like, if they think that their game, looking at it now, is really bad, maybe they're scared to release something that they think is like way behind the times. 
I don't know. This is everything I'm saying, by the way, comes from a place of excitement and interest, guys. It's not, I'm not trying to shit on the game. It's purely a discussion of, I really hope that it comes out. I really hope it's great. We need a new Digimon game. We've not had one in fucking about five years or something. I think the last kind of big ne game was Next Order, e and even then, that port to console was from, like, the Vita or whatever the fuck it came from. We need, like, a modern 2021 next-gen Digimon game, right? There's a lot of people... I don't I don't think there's millions of people waiting on a Digimon game, but I think it would be big. Especially when they've just finished redoing the first season and doing all the anime stuff, right? There has to be issues. That's the only thing I can think of, but I don't know. To be honest, I think Namco still sees Digimon as the little guy when it comes to promotional material, so they're probably not too concerned. Hmm... Star Citizen has been in development for 8 years, they built all the systems from scratch, yeah. It seems, Ryan, it seems like it's a fucking huge project, mate. It seems like it's a huge project. Have you actually played any Star Citizen stuff, Ryan? Like, any of the MMO stuff? Or are you waiting? I feel like games like that, when you, when you hear, right, when you hear that the game's been being... If, fair enough if it's a if it's a huge project and it's something exciting i'm totally down for researching and looking into games like that i'm i'm super excited for that kind of stuff right and like i said if game devs didn't try and do new stuff with video games we would have the same level of quality for the rest of time right so i need i need game devs to be going out of their way but you know when when a when a big team has been working on a game for like eight years and then you see it and it looks like a kind of not that Star Citizen looks like this, by the way, but sometimes you see games that have been in development for a long time and you think, fucking hell, this is, good. this is bound to be something incredible. But because they've been working on it for eight years, when they started, the, the quality of the engine or whatever was like relevant at the time, but they've taken so long to get it out that it's already starting to look a bit dated. I feel like I get a bit nervous for that game company because they've spent a lot of money developing. Especially if they've got a big team, and if the game comes out and they're shown trailers and the game looks like alpha footage. It may, may be alpha footage, right? But, I don't know, I sound like I'm being a, a hater, and I'm not, but I just, I'm, I don't know. Some kind of workshop. I'll wait and see. The Solari have completely We're talking about two separate games here at once, by the way. We're talking about Star Citizen and Digimon Survive, which are, you know, kind of different, so I apologise. Um, what am I doing here? Can I lob that in there? Is this Buddhist? Is this scales? Oh, okay. Alright, wait a minute. I've got a... Uh... Interesting. Can I use this to maybe collapse these? Maybe I can uh, use this tire to like break some of the ledges. No. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I think. Will this collapse if I throw another one up? If it doesn't, I'm gonna be so sad. Okay. I think I can get that one down as well by doing the exact same thing. Okay, good shit. Of I'm playing it now. Okay, cool. Right, am I going to try and balance... I think I use this as a ramp, don't I? We put all these here. And then I run up and I jump. I think that's how this works. They're actually held in that little enclosure area as well. Yeah, okay, cool. Star Citizen has been scrapped twice as Solo Squad, is that true? Probably not scrapped, right, because it's still in development, but has it been... Maybe it's been reworked or something? Campaign was supposed to be out in early 2020, but COVID royally fucked up, but the roadmap for it ends in, like, February 2020. Okay. 2022, sorry. Excuse me. The game's teaser date was 2019 for, for, uh, for Digimon Survive, right? They should have made Digimon World Survive as meh to Solo Squad. Well, we don't know what Survive is going to be like until it comes out, right? It might not be exactly what you would want as a fan, but I'm also open to new things, right? 
like I would love a new Digimon world. I've I've talked about this a million times. Like I think if I if I the game the Digimon company has to look at what's most profitable for them, right? They're not just appeasing to the fans. They're trying to make money. They're trying not to go bankrupt, and they're trying to appease stockholders, shareholders, all that stuff, right? So they have to have multiple projects, maybe for selling multiple games. They have to try different things to find out what is their niche and try and like flourish. Are they going to do Cyber Space, uh, Cyber Sleuth turn-based, uh, like Persona? Are they going to do a Digimon game that's like a, 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 you know, the pet raising, the kind of pet simulator where you're raising your Digimon, kind of old school, like Digimon World One and what Next Order was like? Do they want to try something new and do a Digimon Tactics game, something that potentially they could maybe bring out on mobile one day and make them, again, millions? There's, like, so many things that are going on. If it was up to me, guys, right, let's say I was, if, if I, Jack, was the captain of Digimon, let's say my name was Jack Digimon, Jack Metal War Greymon, Mr. Wolfie. If it was up to me, I would probably put all my resources into making a Digimon world game. Now, that's purely from a for fun for me type project. I'm not saying that's what would make them the most money. I'm saying that's what I would like to see. So if you were to ask me, Jack, what would you like to see? Obviously, I would like a new Digimon world game. They could even just call it Digimon World. Not Digimon World 4, uh, or sorry, I guess at this point it would be Digimon World 5. I wouldn't want them to call it Digimon World 5. I wouldn't want them to call it Digimon World Next Order. They should just call it Digimon World. Or something similar. A complete reboot. Just in the same way that the game we're playing on screen right now is not Tomb Raider 9, it's just called Tomb Raider. Right? It's a reboot 10, 20 years after the original or whatever. And... Uh, I think something like that would be cool. Modern next-gen technology. I'm talking like PS5 and above, right? PC. Um, I think that you should start in like a similar setting to File City. You start with nothing. You have nothing. You're broke. You have no character points. Nothing. And outside is like a harsh environment for you to explore. Close to the village, there are weak Digimon. And as you go further afield, there are more expansive, bigger areas with bigger, scarier Digimon. That you have to beat and, and bring back to your city and upgrade. It would be cool if you could build your city. Build it up just as normal. Tons of Digimon. I mean, look at Cyber Sleuth. Look how many Digimon you can get in Cyber Sleuth. A huge Digivolution chart. Tons of explorable areas. Uh, maybe even, and I don't know how, <laughs> this is getting more and more complex, right? But maybe even like a co-op player mode. Maybe like some sort of co-op mode. Where you can bring your mate in and the two of you can explore together. You could maybe, if you want to get crazy, this is, again, we're touching on multiple different types of games here, but maybe even a randomly generated part of the game where, like, you go out into the maps and the, maybe the areas, like, tropical jungle, maybe it's randomly generated or something like that. So that you could just kind of have infinite playthroughs. I don't know if that's what I would want, but these are ideas I'm throwing out onto the sticky chart, you know, pretend there's a fucking magnet board behind me and I'm just throwing them up onto the board. Something like that would be super sick. Starting in the digital world, right? You should be starting either in somewhere like File City or something very close to season one of Di of Digimon, right? You know when all the kids they get sucked away from their summer camp and then they fucking end up in the jungle, like the literally the jungle, right? The whatever you want to call that, right? That's where you should start your fucking game. You know in Cyber Sleuth, when you go into the digital world towards the end of the game for like ten seconds. That is what your fucking starting environment should be. I think that you should be able to, when you start your game, customize a character, male, female, different hairstyles, all of that shit. If they didn't allow that, I wouldn't be super upset, but something like that would be cool. And I think that you should be able to pick your starter egg, or at least have a starting point like Abimon. Agumon, Gabimon, Biomon, fucking Wormmon, the whole rookie selection should be there. And I think they should just fucking toss your ass out like a fucking salmon on the docks into the big bad world and say, go fucking learn. And what they could do is for the modern audience, because a lot of people are going to say, well, Jack, modern games are too easy and, you know, they need to appeal to all the kids. And yeah, they could do that. Or they could say, fuck off. And they could actually make a good game <laughs> that challenges you, that makes you feel good when you overcome the obstacles, that actually has a fucking thrill to it when you're playing it, right? When you come across... Tyranimon for the first time, let's say you fucking leave the jungle, right? Let's say you're scraping through the jungle. You got a couple of bits of meat, a couple of porta potties, you've got a couple of bits of medicine, and you're just exploring, right? You should come to a clearing in the trees, 
and it should be like a cliffside, maybe even the start of Grand Canyon, right? And right in front of you, there should be a Tyranimon, and he should just walk up, and he should just fucking bitch slap your ass to the point where you are so violated that you maybe start crying, right? I think that's what it should have, so that when he kicks your ass, you think, fuck me, man, what just happened to me? You should get wiped back to the city, Jigimon nurses you and he's like, there, there, son, it's okay, pats you on the back, strokes your ass, whatever. Gives you some bandages for your Digimon, your Digimon's fucking crippled, right? You nurse him back to health, you go into the fucking other side of the jungle and you train. And then you come back with some new moves, maybe a new Digivolution, bunch of medicines, and you fucking take Tyranimon to town. And you let him know who the new fucking boss is. That's what you want. That's what I want, personally. Zone Gamer, what's up, man? Welcome, Zone 3, how's things? Anyways, just what I would like to see, none of this fucking cartoon shit, okay, I know Digimon is cartoon, and I know I always opt for the adult style, and I know it doesn't always have to be like that, but something a bit, you know, it doesn't have to be merciless, I don't need my cast of characters to die, but let, let's say you've got a couple of friends, you meet a couple of friends on the way, they start helping you, maybe one of them betrays you, maybe one of them fucking dies to, uh, to the enemy villain, the main antagonist, just a bit of spice, something to keep me on my toes so that I don't know who's safe, who's friendly, who's good. Just me and my Digimon, Phil, and then we just conquer. That's what you need, bro. That's just my thoughts, though. A lot of people are going to be like, boo, but... Like in Bloodborne, yes. Mm-hmm. Let me see the, the chat for a second, guys. Uh, okay, the Jack Digimon. Let me see, I'm a scroll, I've missed a lot of stuff here. The Digimon anima animations did look dodgy, Metal Greymon was moving like a paper cut out, says Trex there, yeah. That is a bit strange for sure, I'm scrolling up a little bit. Um, Ryan, you were talking about Star Citizen as well, it was first announced on PC, hardware was nowhere near capable to play it. Okay. Um, because the 2D sprites are hype when done like Octopath Traveler, but yeah, animations could do with some works as Valkyrie, yeah. I'm always, I'm always lame, guys. Like, I always have one attitude, right? And I play so many video games that are not like what I'm describing, but that's just what I think. I think a game like that would be really hype. And and if it was good enough and it was intriguing enough and it was, t like, if it was tough enough, it would appeal to more new players. You don't have to curb to stereotypes of other games to try and invest people in. Just go with a new art style, uh, go with a standard level of difficulty. If you really want to make it appeal to as many people as possible, put a fucking easy mode in the game, you know? Have it like, here's normal mode, this is what we intend for you guys to play on. Have an easy mode, this is for people who have one hand, or are bitches, or don't like playing video games because they're scared, right? Have an easy mode, and then maybe later on when you beat the game, have like a hard mode, where you get less money per fight, uh, the enemies hit you harder, you have to, uh, don't don't make it so that the enemy Digimon are just meat shields, but you maybe have to add a bit more tactics to your battle. Maybe you have to grind a little bit more per area before you go in. Maybe some of the fights in the in the game change. Uh, for example, let's say Ogremon, Digimon World 1. Normal mode is Ogremon and his two Agamon buddies, or his three Agamon buddies. Maybe hard mode is Ogremon and Agamon and to Meramon or something like that. Just change it a little bit. Just little tweaks here and there to change and, and move things around. I don't know. Mr. Wolfie counting his money after getting millions from the tutorial views. <laughs> getting your first Digimon based on a personality. Oh my god, Jesse. Yes, dude. Exact, exact. Sorry, I'm shouting and it's like really early in the morning. Exactly. What about that? Wouldn't that be fucking sick? Right? You boot into the game, and they give you, like, you know, if you really want, you can skip the quiz. Because some people are going to be like, I don't want to have to fill out a personality test to play my video game. Okay, you make it so that if people if the, if people want to, they can skip it, right? Kind of like in Fallout New Vegas, right? Fallout New Vegas at the start has a quiz system where you look at uh, Rorschach charts, or whatever they're called. You know, the pictures of the ink. And he asks you a couple of questions. Or even better, Fallout 3, you do the vault quiz at the start. You know when you're growing up as a kid in the vault and you do the quiz? It's like, what would you do in this scenario? And then they give you a multiple choice thing. You do a quiz. If you want in Fallout 3, you can scrap all of that and say, fuck you, I want to put the points in myself. Something like that for Digimon. You answer a bunch of quiz questions 
and based on the outcome of your quiz, you get one of ten starter rookies. Doesn't really affect the game. You know, some rookies might be, you know, theoretically a little bit better than others, but in the grand scheme of things, it could add a bit of flavour and a bit of variety. I fucking love that idea. Yeah, that's a great one. Getting a quiz, getting your first Digimon best based on your quiz. Yeah, like getting sorted into a house in Harry Potter or something, but like for your Digimon. Digimon is supposed to be the mature Pokemon, so this works. Solo Squad says I miss Phil. Serenity says you lost me at Digimon. Serenity, you would be great at this game. Serenity, you would be going out into the world. You would have Wormmon as your first start in Digimon. Who would Digivolve into Stingmon. And then eventually evolve into something epic. I don't know what it would be. Maybe some sort of beautiful angel Digimon. And then you would go around kicking ass. I really like the graphics even though I don't need them for a good game. Bad graphics make me sad though. Survive, please. It's yeah, yeah, guys. The thing is, like, I talk about this a lot, right? When I was reviewing, what game was I reviewing? Yeah, Trails of Cold Steel. I mentioned in about ten seconds that obviously the graphics are dated. Now, it, people might have a problem with that, right? And I'm I'm bringing this up to explain the devil's advocate side. So when you play an RPG, a turn-based RPG from Japan, you are not necessarily needing state-of-the-art fucking frostbite engine battlefield fucking call of duty graphics that's not what people need people that genre people i feel like that fan base doesn't need it what they're looking for is the anime storylines interesting characters that are fun and exciting maybe a bit of good banter between the characters a good story that kind of twists and turns and then obviously a solid rpg system where you get to have fun and kind of lose yourself in the in the game nice music whatever so the graphics aren't always important but I feel like if you try to have a decent graphics engine or try and build it on some sort of art style that is fairly modern and looking like at least somewhat high tech or modern, I feel like you are going to naturally appeal to a lot more people. I know there's a budget and I know there's resources when making video games, right? These companies have to decide what they're going to spend their money on when making the game. They don't have a finite pool of money, they probably have a set amount. And it's not nowhere near as big as some of the games that make millions and millions of dollars a year, like Call of Duty and all that shit, right? But if they can try and pull it off, I think it would do them a huge, a huge service, right? Unlock hard mode? No, make it an option from the start. Personality quiz would be great. So Valkyrie, you'd well, that's the that's the thing, Valkyrie, right? I think that if the game is balanced correctly, you wouldn't even need hard mode. Normal mode should be the hard mode. And the only reason that there's a difficulty option at all is to try and cater to maybe some younger kids or some people who are really, really, really casual video gamers that love Digimon. Let's say you don't let's say you don't have a console and you don't play a lot of video games, but you love watching the anime, you love watching the movies, you maybe love love reading the manga, you got posters and stuff. If you really want to buy the next gen Digimon game, so you buy a console, that's who the easy mode is for. But normal mode should be hard mode, right? Digimon World 1 on regular. It doesn't have any difficulty mode. It's just like Dark Souls. The game is there. Either you beat it after you have improved and learned how it works, or you die. That's it. There's no in-between. It's no, oh, there's an easy mode. Normal mode should just be the hard mode. And easy mode is for people with one finger. Right? Somebody who is partially blind in both eyes, or something like that. <sighs> Angie Woman, yeah. Yeah, like, P5 isn't the bef best graphics, but it looks good, and that's all I want. Yeah, exactly, P5's a good example. Persona 5's got a really sick art style. It's anime, extremely anime, but it's got its own kind of style, and it does look like it's kind of modernised, right? And it's got its kind of adult themes as well. Persona as a series in general, I think Shimigami Tensei as well, although I haven't played it, I believe it kind of follows suit, but... It feels like they're not scared to dabble in like the adult concepts and I really like that because it means you don't know what you're going to get when you play through a story. If I buy a Naruto game tomorrow guys, right, not saying the Naruto games are bad because when I was younger I used to love them, right, but if I buy like another staple, it doesn't have to be Naruto, it could be any anime game. Let's be honest, the fucking, the themes of it are going to be, you have a hero, hero has bad upbringing, hero has friends. Hero dies to boss or sub dies, the boss kicks his ass. Hero gets stronger, hero wins game. Like that's the standard 
that's the standard storyline, right? But when you throw in a bunch of adult concepts in there, betrayal, lust, relationships, um, uh, you know, suddenly your character development twists and turns, they take different paths and it's a little bit more exciting. So if you have like Persona, for example, covers a lot of adult themes. I, I think that's quite interesting. I don't know if I'm explaining myself very well, but I hope I make somewhat of a little bit of sense. Make uh, make skipping the personality test give you Numamon. The only reason I think this personality test should be skippable is because I know some people will want to do speedruns of the game. And you don't want those people to be bothered. You might also find that people want to build their character exactly as they want. Like, they should be able to... Some people will want to select their starting rookie. And you shouldn't get in the way of those people. Right? Even if it's a tiny minority. You should just let everybody have their start to the game that they want. In my opinion. The restriction is however many, the only restriction you can place on the players is how many options they have. So Pokemon has three rookies, but maybe this Digimon game could have five or ten. Depends how many games you've, uh, how many Pokemon you have in the game as a whole, or Digimon you have in the game as a whole. Will I ever see beloved Laura again, Wolfie? I'm sure you will, Solo Squad. Yeah, I wouldn't give up hope. I wouldn't give up hope, my guy. Nimmon or Nanimon. Hmm. Still remember the first time I booted up P3, my favourite Persona game, and it starts with the coffins and shit, I'm just like, I'm in love. And then pew in the head to some of the monsters, and I was sold. <laughs> and then the adult teams continued. I was in heaven. It's just a bit exciting, guys. Like, I don't need... I don't need all of my topics in video games to be about sex, right? Or death. It doesn't have to be like that, right? But when you immediately start off a game and you have a couple of characters and then one of them dies, it, it makes you shit the bed a little bit because I feel like it takes away the anime character, storyline, plot armor. But I don't want to reference Final Fantasy VII because a lot of people will get annoyed because Final Fantasy VII has become like a meme and how much people like it and stuff, right? But I really enjoy that game. It's not perfect, but I enjoy it a lot. The fact that halfway through the game, Aerith is just fucking killed is so badass that, like, I just wish more games did that. Now, I'm not saying... <laughs> if we played Trails of Cold Steel, right, which has a lot of characters, if someone heavily invested in, say, Fee, and then at the third chapter of the game, fourth, maybe even the fifth chapter of the game, if Fee just was killed and you lost that character, you're going to feel fucking annoyed because you've put so much effort in. You might have grinded Fee up above the other heroes. You might have built up her relationship goals spent a lot of time with her and then suddenly all those points are gone but if you can balance the game in a way so that 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 effort is not undone i don't know how it worked with Aerith. i think if you invested a lot in Aerith and then you bought all her weapons and stuff i think if you if she just dies i think you just you just don't get her right you probably got all of our weapons and stuff back but i don't think you get your xp back so that's quite a harsh example but I guess uh, another game that did it as well was uh, Drag Dragon Quest. But it kind of worked out because the kind of two characters kind of fused together, if I remember correctly, with Serena and Ver Veronica and all that. It's a bit weird. I don't know, but I I what my point is, like, sometimes RPGs need to kill their characters more often because otherwise it's boring. If I start a, an RPG and I meet all the characters, and because of how happy and upbeat the game is, I know all these characters are safe. When you come across a villain, it doesn't matter because you know you're going to beat them. But if some people die along the way, suddenly you think, oh my god, what happens if they kill this character? What happens if they kill this character? You, suddenly the, the future is unknown. You can't, you can't write out the storyline on a bit of paper seconds after starting like chapter one. I don't know. 